Oh, it's been a minute. All right. Um, in today's video, I guess stream. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, I'm going to just pretty much be working on this uh, Hive 60 that I have here. Um, this is my first Hive 60. This is my second Hive 60. I have two of these. Um, the first one I got was the HHKB uh, Hive 60 version. Um, which basically has <laughs> no control. Um, this is what it looks like. Pretty simple setup. Uh, this is the unfinished version. So basically it's just raw metal uh, that I uh, wanted in this way just because I think it looks really cool. You kind of see the machine marks. Um, it's kind of dark, but you can see all that. Uh, and actually, it's honestly, it's more fragile this way, uh, but I don't mind. It's it's actually turned out to be a really nice board. Uh, the keycaps that I have on here are actually Angry Meow uh, Back to the Future keycaps. These are actually um, decent, very decent. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick sound test of what it sounds like. Uh, on here, I have, I want to say JWK switches, but let me, let me be sure. Hey, what's going on, Beans? Thanks for joining, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, these are, wow, these are reds. I didn't realize these are reds. These are novel key reds. I'll give you guys a quick sound test real quick what it sounds like. Yeah, so I'm basically just uh, kind of working on this other one today. Here's what it sounds like. I'll give you guys a quick sound test real quick of the current one. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I apologize. Yeah, I really don't stream that much anymore just because I do more YouTube content, but we're going to try this out. Can you hear? Can you hear the um, the keyboard pretty well? So I have two microphones. Oh, sorry, that might have been kind of loud. Let me turn that down. Okay, sweet. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. So I have a I don't know if you can see it, the condenser microphone here, and then I have the uh, Procaster microphone up top. So it should sound fairly decent. You probably hear my <laughs> heavy breathing, but that's okay. <laughs> So I haven't really done a sound test on this because uh, I've been wanting to build a blue one before I do my actual review. And then after my review, I'll do like all my sound tests and whatnot uh, with different key, key caps and switches and things like that. Let's do a quick test. Let me plug it in first, that might help. Typically when you plug it in, the keyboard works. Um, <clears throat> You also see that I have this like cheap USB cable. This is because the cable that I had uh, is a little bit fatter than would fit in here, which is, uh, I guess it's all right, honestly, because uh, some of the other ones that I have had fit in there, but I wanted to use the one that I wanted. I'll have to make another one shortly. Okay, here we go. I mean, honestly, it's not bad. Uh, I feel like these um, PBT keycaps that I got from Angry Mail are a little bit more dense, so it does affect the sound. Uh, I think if I use something like the GMK keycaps like I have here, it'd be a lot more clacky. So yeah, uh, we'll try some. We'll actually try these keycaps out. I uh, just turned off my other microphone. All right. So, um, kind of the gist of it, really. This one is actually just pure brass. Uh, this is a plate that's just pure solid brass, which the other plate is as well. Um, so it's pretty rigid. Like you can see, like when I push on it, there's like no give. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, man, I don't even use the. I don't use my right hand for shift. Uh, I just really did that for balance. 
And I think that's, yeah, I think that was the balance that I had. I probably could have switched that, but the, the plate only allows that size. You'll see. Well, I guess I could ship that over, but I don't know if it would work with the PCB that I have. I suppose I can adjust that later, but I like the sand gun. Feels and sounds good. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this other the blue one out real quick and show you what it looks like. Move this guy out of the way. So I uh, just a quick heads up. I did mess with this board a little bit. Um, because uh, it's pretty much the same board, but this time I actually uh, I grabbed a key colt uh, brass plate, which was fairly similar in the size and shape with the gasket mounts. Uh, the only difference was the little tabs here on the, the key colt were uh, much more uh, sharp, so I actually had to grind, grind these down on the key colt to be able to get it to fit. So this is the actual the brass plate that comes with it and it's it's stiff it's it's a heavy stiff plate um uh, lately you know i've been more into like less rigid uh, plates so like fr4 carbon fiber um plates that are give more give like polycarbonate that's something i've been wanting um i have the key colt also which is right behind me that has the uh, aluminum plate with the uh, spring leaf the leaf spring cuts um, so i wanted that same feel because i do really enjoy that feel uh, it's been something I'm enjoying a lot more lately. And because I already have this one here, which is kind of rigid, I decided I wanted to get something, uh, or at least buy into something that would give me that. Uh, for some reason, I, I thought that I did. I, I thought I ordered the polycarbonate, uh, but I didn't. So I ended up going to Key Colts and ordering their brass plate for their uh, number 160. And I just lightly grinded down the corners to match it to fit. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It's, I mean, the blue is like really nice. I really like this blue. Yeah. This is like brass on blue, super clean. Check that out. It looks just as good in person as it does on camera, to be honest. It's a really good blue color. Um, <clears throat> they did have issues with their anodizer, but this was one of the ones that made it out. This one here is number 18. So I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I did put the plate in here. This is the leaf spring plate from Key Colt. Uh, it's also the WT60 um, uh, PCB. Uh, this is It's going to be a little bit um, funny with this plate because this plate does not have a uh, USB mounted to it. Yeah, I love this blue, man. It looks so good. Uh, my camera autofocus is off. Let me turn it on. I don't know if it's going to hear it or not. Yeah, check that out. Look at that blue. Looks pretty dang good to me. Yeah. I think it, it turned out really well. Even though like a majority of the the um the boards didn't come out good, I was lucky to have mine turn out okay, so I was able to get it. Uh, okay. So I still have some switches to lube. I gotta lube all the switches. Uh, but I mean, I did like test fit everything, right? And I did try out this plate. Plate, down tur plate turned out really good. After I grind it down, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I grinded it. I didn't get a chance to wet, uh, wet sand it. Uh, just because honestly, <laughs> um, hold on one sec. Yeah, what's ending it really wouldn't like matter because the plate itself is actually sandwiched in between the top and bottom. So I was just, you know, I guess I'm lazy <laughs> and I just want to use this board. So I was just like, it's fine. But if you, if you want the plate to match it really, like what I did was I, I grinded it with my uh, bench grinder, uh, which I got at like Harbor Freight. Uh, it's the same bench grinder that I used to polish my QBD 8X uh, brass plate. So it's... I mean, it's had, had, had its use already. I've used it a couple times for my keyboards. Is that noise? Hopefully it's not my camera falling. 
so uh, it actually didn't turn out too bad. Let me pull this guy out. So I ended up using uh, 3M double stick tape to mount the uh, USB-C onto the bottom. The reason why I did this one, this 3M tape, is because it's easily removed from the aluminum, but it also keeps it fixed in place if you sandwich it between uh, the PCB and the top. So that's why I went with that one. Let me turn on the music for you guys real quick too. Ooh, I don't like this song. Let's go to something else. Yeah, we'll go with some uh, synth. Yeah, so gaskets are already mounted as well. Uh, let me zoom in quite a bit. Gaskets are mounted, as you can see. Uh, it was pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's got little uh, cut-ins for you to place it. Uh, this is the accent piece that goes in between the case. Uh, I have it pretty much just held in place with the gasket, so uh, it's pretty pretty standard setup. Let me show you guys what it looks like underneath of the case. Honestly, like the they actually turned out really good. Let me pull up this 3M real quick. Oh, that's really under there. Well, anyways, I don't want to take it out, but underneath of it, um, it has the number. The number I have is 018. I guess I'll leave it in place. I don't want to bother it since it's it's fixed right now. And I don't want to mess that up or ruin the adhesion. So move that out of the way. Okay. And this is the PCB and plate. So you can see where I uh, basically grinded the tops here to round them out uh, to match basically the other plate and the way that these grooves are cut. So it turned out fairly decent. Come on. Yeah, so you can see it's just rounded out. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's functional. Uh, you want to make sure that you're extra careful with the leaf springs. These are like basically, let me zoom it out just a little bit. No. Yeah, so these are basically just like super fragile tabs. And you'll see like they flex and move. And this allows it to have a little bit of play when you're typing. And it may, honestly, it like makes it much better typing experience. So definitely recommend uh, either joining a group by with the flex plates or the leaf spring, leaf spring plates uh, if you don't have one yet. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this guy out. This is my cable. Uh, this is the WT60 Wilbatech 60% PCB. Graphite color. I like it. It looks pretty good. This is also from Key Cult. Uh, I'm not affiliated or sponsored with them. Honestly, uh, I hope they don't get mad at me for using their plate for this. Um, but I wanted to get something that was leaf spring. And this was the only thing that was available uh, without having to wait for a group buy. Uh, one of the things I did, oh gosh, one of the things I did want to worry about though, about this is uh, the USB port, the USB cutout on this uh, board is a little bit small. So you will find issues with um, movement when you're typing on it. So we're just, I'm just going to remove these switches real quick so I can move them. Yeah, so I don't know, like, it has a little, so it has space in between the USB. But the only thing I'm worried about uh, that I talked about on the page too is when you use something like this with the leaf spring or with polycarbonate, and I'll show you what I mean. When you have something like this, like uh, say for instance, this is a burger mount keyboard. So when you, when you press on it, you can see that USB, the dongle moves inside of there. So the only thing I'm worried about, like, I don't know, say for instance, somebody's typing, when they type on it, they're pressing too hard. Uh, over time, it could cause that issue. But really, like, you're not going to be topping on there that much. So it's it shouldn't be an issue. It's just something I'm worried about. Yep. So that's the plate. Uh, trying to get it to focus but it won't there we go pretty nice little plate and i think it's gonna have a great sound i like brass sound a lot of people prefer brass that's the pcb 
the it's always going to be a good pcb from woba this is a soldered pcb too i don't know if they have the the hot swap version of this So these yellows have not been lubed. <laughs> We're gonna have a good amount to lube today. The sad thing is I gotta film these two. Ooh, and the filming takes forever. So we'll see how long it takes. Feel free to stay. <laughs> it's gonna be a long journey. Uh, I probably should have lubed these beforehand, but it's been a while since I've lubed on stream, so might as well just do it. Let's see if this guy will open it up. These are my 3D printed uh, key switch openers that I made. The only issue with these is they don't work the best with JWK. I probably should have. Yeah, I probably should have got something else. There we go. I'm just gonna use my tweezers for this. It'll be much faster. All right. Turn this over this way. Okay. So are you guys all in the Hive 60 group buy as well? I know that a lot of people are still waiting. I was lucky enough to get mine. I actually got both mine first. Uh, one, because this one's raw. The second reason why uh, was because the blue, the one that actually was one of the lucky ones that turned out good. So I'm kind of happy with that. This thing is too sharp. I'm going to stab myself. Black and brass. Oh, you know what? Uh, I like the black and, black and brass. I didn't really care for it until I got my key cult, to be honest with you. Uh, I have the key cult number 265. I got lucky, uh, and I, I won that one. But now it's like all I really like is black, black and brass. Nice beans. I might have already seen yours. Actually, did you already post it in the uh, show off your build portion of the Discord? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen yours. Yeah, honestly, uh, like um, at first, when I first started typing on this, I, I wasn't too happy with it because I think the the way that I had mine set up, um, the gaskets. I think when I first got it, were a little too a little too fresh. So I think over time it, it got a little softer and it seemed like it started sounding better. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like when I first got it, I tightened it too much and the sound was a little bit too pingy to me and there was a little bit of hollowness to it. But once I uh, use it over time, it seems like it, it, I don't know, it just felt like it sounded better over time. And that could have been my switches needed um, movement too to get that lubrication going. I should probably count these. Ten. Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a $200 keyboard. You can't be too impressed. So I'm going to see how this one sounds with the film uh, and the actual uh, JMK keycaps. I think that'll be a good tell. Okay, 60. I think that's, I don't know. I don't even know if that's like the amount that it has. Yeah, honestly, like, um, that's not something that I've, I'm surprised about. A lot of people did say that too. They weren't very impressed with it. But for me, like, I don't know, like, I have a very, <clears throat> I guess, like, 
my heart like kind of goes towards budget builds. Uh, this seems like one of those budget uh, keyboards that first came out. Also, like the turnaround time was very impressive to me. Um, the unfortunate thing is that there wasn't much advertisement about them or like uh, knowledge about who they were and how how they got into the community. That's like Shadow Celery and uh, Taco Bell. Um, <clears throat> Shadow Celery is the one that designed the keyboard, uh, which really like if you look at the board, it's uh, it's very unique, um, as in like it doesn't copy other boards. Like some boards that have recently come out have pretty much been copies of past boards, uh, and a lot of people took uh, took issue with that. Uh, one of the big issues that I saw when this one first came out was the fact that they were promising such a fast turnaround time, with, which was literally uh, less than six months, which is unheard of if you're not a larger company. Uh, turns out the reason being that the turnaround time was so fast in comparison was you know that they were actually machining it themselves yeah it was two months what if what 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 is it looking at like now i, th what, I can't remember when when did it when did we first buy this i need to look back at what the date was but i mean to be honest yeah the anodizer that's right yeah the anodizers were like the ones that caused all the issue honestly and you know they've been pretty good about updating us and everything yeah mid october's i mean uh it's march now so that's how many months is that? Let me count this. Oh, yeah. About five months. So, I mean... I guess it could have been better. Um, but really, like, the past couple months of waiting... The machining was done way sooner. Uh, the last couple months of waiting has been more of the anodizers. Panda, what's up, my guy? Long time to see, man. Sorry it's been so long, dude. I've been pretty lazy, honestly. That's I've been just, I've been trying to chill. I got to put some more videos out, too. Yeah. <clears throat> so this board actually turned out, I mean, the anodizing for mine actually turned out decent, but the ones that they had issues with, and the sad thing is, like, they probably had more boards uh, ending up being, like, D-stock or F-stock is what they called it because the anodized ruined it. So some people's boards who probably had lower numbers got ruined in the process, unfortunately. So we'll see um, how the next ones come out. I'm curious to see like what adjustments they do. That's going good, man. Uh, so I've got this Hive 60. I think I spoke with you a long time about it, a little while ago about it. Oh, and now I just dropped my spring and switch. Ah, spring is gone. We'll see. It could be this one right here. So I, I pretty much just got to lube these switches and film them. And then we're going to throw them in this board. Uh, what I did show before uh, was the the plate that I grabbed was is the key quote number 160. Uh, I hope they don't get mad at me for using this plate. But uh, I used this plate uh, in this board. I grinded down the tab so it would match what we have from them. Uh, from Hive 60. So we're going to try this out. The spring lift cuts. Dude, speaking of thermal, man. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about the wait time for this this one. How, when did you first get your uh, thermal group buy? So, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people that, that jumped in this group buy, uh, the promise was to have it within less than two months, I guess. Like two to three months was the promise. And it took about five months, which really isn't unheard of still. Uh, but there was a lot of issue with anodizers and QC. Not not with uh, the manufacturer's end, but more of the anodizer's end. Yeah, so you waited to <laughs> almost two years, man. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, for those that are, this is their first group buy, and they're, they're like, frustrated at the weight that they've had to go through, you've never had a, a Rama group buy board. <laughs> so, I, I'm actually on the U80, and... Like I've just forgotten about that board uh, mentally. That board's not coming in for the longest time. Uh, I got the Satisfaction 75 coming in too. Uh, that one's gonna be nice, but yeah, like I, I, with that one, I forgot about that too. It's not even in my brain anymore. It'll come up. It'll come whenever it comes, though. I'm not worried about it. How do you like the thermal, man? Yeah, I agree. It is very frustrating, like, when your anticipation um, 
and then the dates uh, promised aren't what they what <clears throat> aren't what actually happens. But I've just learned at this point that the projected dates are never accurate. The so the thermal is actually the one that's designed by Wilba. Am I right? Yeah, that board looks amazing. It's got a nice, nice old school design to it. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Wilba's a legend. Yeah, I'm using his PCB on this board as well. I'm using the graphite. Yeah. Let me zoom this out. Shabam. I feel like I'm like I'm doing work and you guys aren't even seeing what I'm doing. Dude, I've got 60 switches to film and then lube. So this is going to be quite a long stream. I've just been putting this one off. It's going to be a long stream, so. Hope you guys don't mind. Oh, no. So for the thermal, the PCB... Um, is it not just a regular Wilba PCB, like a WT60 or WT65? Like you can't just put one of those in there? I'm curious. Oh, stop. They gave me the hot swap gun to use. Okay, that's not bad. At least you have something for now to get you over. Also, like you don't have to solder it, so you don't have to worry about having to like unsolder stuff. That would be that would be a pain in the butt. Yeah, like if you got just the <laughs> if you got just the less solderable version and you wanted the hot swap, that would suck because you either mill max it or you just you just solder it and then have to unsolder it if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm in the, the same boat as you. I love soldering uh, my switches. I kind of, for to be honest, though, with the key colt number 265 that I have, uh, I really wanted to solder that one. But I think the best way to do it would be, would have been to get the hot swap uh, and then test out the switches I want, which is what I did with the U80. I got the, before the U80, uh, I got the hot swap so I can uh, test out the switches I want and then I'll do the solder. But with the, the key cold, you know, I'm so worried that I won't get to the raffle or, or something like that. I was just like, click, click, click. And then luckily I got it. So, yeah. Well, they also gave me two Rama Thermal keycaps and say, oh, nice. Heck yeah, dude. That's amazing. Two Rama Thermal keycaps. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I, I wish that I went on the Rama go, uh, cop, uh, brass keycap for key cold. That would have been dope. What color are they? I'm curious. What are the keycap colors? I, I really want a brass key, a Brahma keycap from Keycold. Hopefully they, they do another uh, group buy for it. That'd be amazing. I've, uh, I want to get the wood and brass Keycold um, 65 wrist rest too from Grove made when it comes out. So we'll see if that happens. Silver like pure alu. Okay. What, col what color is your thermal again? I forgot to check with you on that. I like the the beige. I mean the is it the the white e white, black and red plate. Nice, that's a good color. That's a really good color. That that is a very thermal style color. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been into um, solid colors and brass lately. But that red and black key coat that just came out that was pretty clean. I like that one. I'm surprised I didn't stab myself yet with these tweezers. You see these tweezer needles? Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look how dangerous these look. Just come on, zoom in with do your do your job. Anyways, that's no not a thing is working today. Okay, whatever. I'm wondering how does the key quote compare to the hive? Uh so it's a very different keyboard. Uh now, like I like I said in the on the Discord, the the one to compare would be the 160 um, because that's kind of a similar build where it has the accent 
it's got the two pieces and then uh, <clears throat> it's got the plate with this but it's gonna be very different uh, compared to the number 265 but at the end of the stream though if you guys want I'll do a, a sound test for the key cult I haven't done a sound test for the key cult uh, or a review yet on that board for my YouTube channel uh, but that's that's in the works I've got so much stuff that I've got to play in it's kind of all over the place also if you guys aren't aware um, I hit 6,000 subscribers on YouTube whoop whoop so if you are subscribed I really appreciate it did it just block your link uh yeah I don't see it I don't see the link it didn't even blink it. it just it's just stars for me I don't see it like saying that it blocked it yeah so I'll be giving away actually on my channel my YouTube channel uh, I'll be doing a NK65 giveaway shortly I've got to do a whole video uh, announcing that and stuff and I'd like to actually do the review for the NK65 because I did get one to replace it yeah Oh, awesome. Thanks, Beans. I think I've seen you on there. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, so, uh, really, like, the giveaway is just for my subscribers, um, just to give thanks to, like, all the support you guys do, so, yep. Hopefully, hopefully you get a good chance to win. You never know. Uh, get a free NK65. Uh, I'll probably be throwing in some, uh, Nauki Silk Yellows in there as well, because I have extras of these. I don't know. I, these are, like, my favorite switches lately. Um, these and... The Cherry MX Blacks, I've been I've been liking those too. But it's 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 hard because they have super scratchiness. These are just so nice and smooth. Send it to me in Discord. Let's see. Oh, I turn off Discord right now. Let's take a look. Oh gosh. I don't know what that USB is. There's a USB that's on my computer that keeps disconnecting and then reconnecting. I have no idea which one it is because I have a whole dongle uh, with like. 12 USB devices. All right, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. How do I, how do I save this? Open link. Yep. All right. Wow. That looks clean. How do I, let me see. Keyboard, keyboard build. So window capture. There we go. That's what it looks like. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. What keycaps are those? Those are those are super clean keycaps. I'm digging it. Did that show up? I don't know if it showed up or not. Did it show up? Jeez, I'm so bad. Boom. There we go. I don't have an alt. Do I have an alt? I do have an alt. There we go. Let's clean that up. Nice. Looking good, man. I love those keycaps. Super nice color. Yeah, man. Looks dope, man. GMK Metaverse R1. Nice. Good find, dude. Yeah, that color with the table. Very on point. Yeah, I've, I can see that you have your aesthetic like pre-planned out. I want to pick up a metaverse, but it's too expensive aftermarket. Yeah, everything, ugh, everything on uh, mech market is just ridiculous. Oh man, it's it's crazy right now. It's been so expensive. Uh, so I did I did get in a couple of group buys for other uh, keycaps because like uh, it's kind of it's kind of sad, man. Since I've gotten my key colts, nothing nothing like fascinates me anymore. Well, yeah, I got the board in that color because I had Metaverse. Nice. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's a great color either way. That's a that's a super nice color color combo. Yeah. Goes goes hard. All right. This is gonna take a bit. I don't have my um my loop station either. I should have got a loop station, but it's all right. First keycap set I bought in this hobby. Nice. That's a pretty decent keycap set. How much did you end up paying for that? I'm curious. The only good price that I ever paid for a keycap set was my GMK Laser. I think I paid maybe a hundred bucks for it, which was pretty unheard of for any GMK set. Wow. 
Nice. So you've been in it a minute. Are there any other boards that you guys are looking at right now other than uh, some of the common like KBD fans and boards like that? Oh, uh, I jumped in on the NK87. I am a big Novel Keys fan. Uh, I think their boards are pretty budget friendly. Oh, you got HHKB, nice. Duck Orion. Not even looking for boards at the moment. Yeah, man, I'm in the same boat, dude. Like, since I got the key cold, it's like I don't care about anything else. Barnob. Barnob looks good. Yeah, it does. It does look really cool. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend that one. That's one of my favorite ones so far, other than the other ones. I, th I don't know. Uh, people hate on knobs, but I don't know. I like knobs. I've always liked knobs, knobs on my keyboard for volume control. Uh, right now, I currently have like uh, function combos that I use for it, but I like the knob. The knob is nice. I've got a whale coming in too, but I've mostly just been going for artisans lately. Nice, yeah. That's what uh, Panda does too. Panda's a Panda's got some really good uh, artisans, some really decent priced ones too. Oh, so the whale? How'd you get? How'd you get a whale? That's a that's a pretty dope. So did you get lucky on the group buy? That's pretty awesome. Panda, what's your name on there? Oh, sorry. You sold all your artisans you had? I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of good, honestly. Like, that's a big investment. Why are you? No. Did I just lose another spring? I did. I'll find it later. When, it, when the time is right. Yeah. I think I have one artisan and I lost it. I have no idea where it's at. It's that little keyboard guy. The little computer guy. Yeah. Yeah, HHKB is a really cool sounding board. Uh, I, I, yeah, I still don't have any Topra boards. I haven't got any Topra. I'd like to pick one up. Uh, I really like the, the heavy boards, the heavy grails by uh, Norbauer. I really, really like those boards. It looks really nice. I like the way they, it's just a very different approach toward, cu towards custom keyboards and I really appreciate that, that style. I'm pretty sure I'm admin on Dustin's Discord. Yep, Panda is the admin on our Discord. The Discord is very, very uh, non-active lately, probably because of me, um, because I've been so little active. I'm in like so many discords, but really, like I'm the only Discord that I'm actually active uh, that I you know I keep up on is the Teha Types Discord and my Discord. I've been kind of like taking a break from others. I was in like the Stock Drops Discords for like 3080s and stuff like that. I pay little attention to discords these days. Yeah, for sure. Like, it's just, I'm in literally like 30 uh, groups. And like, there's one that I really want to be active in, which is like the Keyboard Cafe. But like, um, they're just so active in there. I feel so, I feel so like, <laughs> I feel so inadequate, right? Like, I don't know as much a lot of these people too in the keyboard community just because like, I, I can't keep up with all the new things in and out and like know all the group buys and stuff. So I, I pretty much just have like, uh, group by links and uh, app updates so people can like find out when stuff is available and things like that but that's pretty much it like that's about the most active I get I like to share like my hobbies on like Tejas discord but nothing really crazy yeah no time same here man yep I've actually I've actually been going back to school I'm going to school for biology uh I don't know how it's going to turn out. You spend all your time in Discord? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If if you, if you enjoy the community, that's totally fine. But Like, I have a, I have four kids, uh, a wife, three dogs now. I've got two French Bulldogs and a Labrador. So they, they require more attention than I can give um, to Discord. Got all... 
I got most of my the boards I wanted not even checking out. Yeah, yeah, same here. That's that's pretty much where I'm at. I've got Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you guys see that? That's like four NK sixty fives. So two of them are the black smoke, one of them's the clear. Uh I got the milkshake, and then I have the E white aluminum uh NK sixty five. So I mean those of <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know how and why I got those, but it seemed like a good a good idea at the time. I've got a single pup to take care of, but that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, this that's that's pretty tough in itself, man. Like, dogs are very very needy. Um, I love my dogs, but sometimes I do like to take a little break and just relax. Man. Yeah. Honestly, like when I got that key cult too, I just didn't, I didn't even look at anything else. <sighs> like, how can you go back from it? I don't know what to do. It's like it's sad. Like a lot of people I do know, they oh gosh, they go, they're still into other keyboards, which is cool. But I've just got to find. I've honestly probably got to find just more high tier keyboards to to really get me interested again. He's a poodle too, infinite energy. Yeah, <laughs> poodles have millions, millions, millions of years of energy. Yeah, we have a Labrador. That dude. Whew, non-stop he's so big and he pulls like a truck like every, whenever you have a, a leash on him he just he'll pull your arm off if he wants to but he is now 10 years old so he's he's getting old buck still like the boards just not interested in buying more at the moment yeah for sure there's really no need for me to buy anymore either the only the only incentive that i have to buy is to review them um and like what i'll have to do like if i really want to do that is I have to buy and sell them and I probably wouldn't be just like selling them to flip them but rather just selling them to move them and buy buy new boards but we'll see uh, that's that that was the original plan and I really should stick to that it's just I have a bad issue with not selling stuff I just hoard I'm, I'm such a bad hoarder I end up keeping everything oh yeah it's easy to find high-end keyboards it just costs money yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean that whale, dude. That that's a pretty good find. I would love to get my hands on like an Iron 165. That would be pretty awesome. But like anything like entry level anymore, it just doesn't really appease me. Even this, I mean, I love the Hive 60. It's a great looking board, but when you when you have something that that feels as quality compared to like these lower end boards, it's just not the same. Oh, did you get the oh, what is it called? EB75? Was that the name of it? I didn't jump on that group by just because I got this board. I wanted to go on that. And I got the Satisfaction 75 too, so I didn't. That's why the, I like the artisans more. Art is so subjective that you can't find any. Yeah, that's that's true. That's very true. Uh, honestly, like, I've seen people that actually just collect uh, strictly machine keycaps. Like the Rama keycaps. I think that's, that's actually something that I can get into. Uh, I do like um, the Rama keycaps. I think those are pretty nice. Yeah, I do. Yeah, honestly, like, that's one of the boards that I do need to pick up just to review. But, like, at times, too, like, I feel so, like, unknowledgeable about these keyboards that I feel like, I don't know, there's probably better people to, to give information on it. Yeah. Yeah, Artisan's even worse money sucker than boards. Yeah. I mean, Artisan's can be as much as a keyboard. Some Artisan's are as much as, like, a, a key cult, right? So, yeah, I don't get I guess maybe it it, my, it auto modded sucker, so yeah. Nope. Nah, just as bad you're getting way less money for the money. Just as bad you're getting a way, way less for the money. Yeah. Yeah. I know that uh, Panda, last time he was on here, he was talking about how he sold one of his for a pretty decent price. Oh, speaking of buying and selling, are you guys into Pokemon at all? I have a new hobby. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I've been really into Pokemon lately. Me and my son. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, see? You probably thought I forgot. Yeah, that was a pretty decent sell. Which CW? I'm not sure what, what CW is. Okay. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way just so I don't nudge it and knock it over. 
I'm also going to put these tweezers over here so I don't scratch it. Okay. I think one of the things that I do need to work on is not overlooping these. Sometimes I overloop them. It mostly happens because I get very lazy. All right, today I'm going to use these brushes. Yeah, if you guys have any question about the board too, feel free to to ask it. I mean, I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have about it. Not many colorways of bowl that sell for that much. That's a pretty that's a pretty cool little investment though. I mean, if you can speculate that stuff, that's pretty good. I know that the, so the, there's a lot of issue with like flippers in the keyboard community right now too. Like, they bought and stuff, and they buy keyboards for that reason. But I feel like the artisans is it's kind of one to it's kind of a big gamble. So I do like that. So it's not it's probably not as bad, but it's also not as easy to get things because a lot of people want originals. And it's very limited. They were giving one resin box out of 10 bulls back in the day. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome. That's got to be super rare. See, I, I have no idea what artisans you guys are talking about right now. I do remember seeing the picture of the one you sold, though. Bull V2. So I imagine that's like Bull version 2. Is there a reason that that Bull uh, artisan was so much more expensive? Or why it sold for so much more? <laughs> yeah. You can uh you can post your Instagram link. Try that. Let's see if we can do that. And I'll see if I can pull up a picture of it. I'm curious. And I dropped, just this past weekend, I dropped like $200 on booster packs for Pokemon with me and my son. We got this, <laughs> we got maybe $30 worth of Pokemon cards out of it. Such a bad waste of money. So I think from now on what I'm going to do is just go after like the cards I want. <laughs> yeah, he's cool though. I mean, he's my, he's like my bud. So... He's like uh, 10 years old now, so we hang out a lot. I try to like get him interested in the things I do, like fishing, camping, stuff like that. He loves it. So we'll go like fishing and stuff. Yeah. Kind of like how me and my dad were. We didn't really do a lot, but what I did enjoy was like the, the activities that we would do. So hopefully I can instill some good memories in him. <laughs> was it you panda that was talking about the simpsons at one point my kids are like crazy in the simpsons right now because the disney plus has like all the simpsons on there <laughs> yeah the link got murdered what the hey that's so strange let me see oh i think i did put moderation on there hmm. let's see hmm Mod. No, I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, it did block hyperlinks. All right, try that. Try it now. I have to save it. Stream manager. Okay. It might work now. 
I just refreshed my chat though, so if you guys said anything, I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this whole Twitch thing, man. That's part of the reason why, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's better people out there, which is, you know, I'm not knocking myself, but I just, I don't know. I, maybe it's like I don't have the motivation as much as some people. And also, like, I, I kind of enjoy creating videos too, like editing and like planning the videos, and then getting the scenes ready and things like that and I kind of like that more I've always been more into like the cinematic style stuff I feel like you can't really do that with Twitch as much you probably can but it just takes way too much effort for such little give back yeah. war cry war CRTY oh war cry is that the bull that you guys are talking about Okay, okay, nice. Let's take a look. Mm. Art cry. I see art cry and war cry. Let's take a look. I don't see any e images though. I don't want to like accidentally pull up anything inappropriate, but hey, let's take a look at these. This might be it. Uh, oh, that's that. What's what's the deal with the space kitty or space fox? That's one that I see a lot. I see that one very often. Honestly, though, that that colorway—if it's the black and red—it actually matches your keyboard very well too. For some reason, my my links aren't loading. But let's try this. Boom. Boom. Am I looking at that right? That's pretty good. I like the artwork. I, I do like sculpting. So I'm I'm big into like 40k, or I'm not as big anymore into it as I was. So I really do, I really do appreciate like artwork like that, and the way that they do it with like the resin casting, it's pretty interesting. What is what? What even is this? <laughs> All right, that's enough. That is enough. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got it. Shabam. That's pretty decent. I like it. Nice, man. That's clean. Oh, nice. Did I go with JNK Nautilus? I don't think I did. Oh, I, I went in on Striker. I don't know if you guys are into Striker. I got a JMK Striker. I was like curious too, like because this board is blue, like would it even look okay on this board? I don't know if it would match, but that's like a lot of blue. Um, today actually I was gonna put some GMK laser on this guy. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we'll see. Never ended up getting Nautilus, so I got rid of it too. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that that bull v2 actually matched your your current set though, right? But honestly, like selling that is is a really smart move. You never know if the keyboard artisan prices are gonna drop. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was literally thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, but 400 matched me better. Yeah, I agree with that, 100 percent. Nothing like some uh, good monies. Oh, uh, cool thing that I found out too. So I have the Kylo Ren um, Black Series helmet. Uh, that thing is worth like 300 bucks now. That is going to be put on eBay ASAP. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Also, what I don't know if it's because they're planning to like retcon everything from Star Wars. Uh, or if it's just like people are super huge fans of the current series, but that'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. We will see. I'm glad I held on to it though. The only sad thing is like my kids probably stepped on it and kind of ruined it a little bit. Pump died on my AIO. Now I need to spend money on that. Yeah, dude. I'm scared of that, honestly. Um... 
Actually, I have the, the CM Storm all-in-one cooler. So, I think I got that one set up correctly. I actually just rebuilt my... I just rebuilt a new, new computer, Panda. I built a small form factor uh, NR200. Uh, it's the Ryzen 9 3600 processor. And then I got a... I stuffed a 3070 uh, MSI Ventus 3 fan in there. Uh, tr no, it was, a, it was a Trio fan. Sorry. It's not overheating unless it's like 60 load or more. Yeah. That's scary, dude. I'd be, I'd be scared about that. So I'm kind of fine for now. Yeah. What what uh what all in one are you planning to get for your for your system? Just using air cooler. Yeah, I th for me like I actually have been considering just going to air cooler just for uh one I feel like my all in my all in one is a little bit large for my small form factor like it takes up real estate like a lot of the real estate. But two is like I think it would probably have better airflow overall if I put the fans the way that. Um, the other fans are going, so it would just like be a constant flow of air. Yeah, I wanted to get a 360, but they are a bit expensive these days. Yeah, everything is, everything is up right now. I don't know. It's crazy. I, it's probably the stimmy money. <laughs> just like putting more money in people's pockets so they can buy builds and stuff like that. Um, it's a, probably a lot that goes into it, but yeah, it's been really crazy lately. I got lucky. Um... You know, getting my 3070. I actually got the 3070 from a local guy. I did pay like 100 above MSRP, but still, I was able to get a 3070. Only built a single SFF PC. Yeah, I love it. Um, I, I've always been like an RGB mid ATX or full ATX case builder. So it was definitely a big change going to small form factor. But I do like it, especially now that I'm like more into content creation and um, like a more simple aesthetic. So that's what I've been doing. GP prices are insane here. Yeah, what what are your prices out there for 3070? 3070 is like 1300. Wow. Is that MSRP or is that like aftermarket prices for selling? Built a Lian Li Lee TU 150 for a client with a NH D15 and a full size GPU, full set of RGB fans and RGB lights. <laughs> nice. That's a dope build, my guy. Yeah, nice. Heck yeah, that's a took a whole eight hours to build. That's that's pretty good. Well done, man. Beans, do you have an Instagram? Let me follow your Instagram too. Fifteen hundred. This is the price that I get in the shop. Man, that's ridiculous. That's rough, man. Uh, so like, I don't know how it is with. So I know how like it is with like um, distributors when the demand is high. Sometimes they can jack up their prices, but also sometimes if like the demand is just high and then the product is readily available. But I, I don't know how it works. Like, is it okay for wholesalers to jump their prices up just because the demand is higher? Like, does that force people to go to work more? And like, does that just give them more profit as a distributor, or do they have to pay more people to meet demand? So I don't I don't know how it works. Yeah, yeah. the The trio that I got was like the trio that I got was like seven. No, I want to say eight eight fifty MSRP, and I paid like a hundred above that, and then plus tax was like a thousand. To be honest, but it, it is a, a, a much better fan setup, so I don't man, I don't mind paying the premium price for like a premium MSI GPU. I've never had an MSI knock on rubber here uh follow me so we'll see prices are high to begin with because we have a, high, a big tax but now they are just insane oh man that sucks yeah <clears throat> yeah so like they're i don't know how it is like they've also been saying like the tariffs have caused the prices to go up but i mean i don't know i don't i'm not an economist so i don't really know that stuff i also don't know who to believe a lot of times <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of like I guess I go with the flow I don't really care about it too much yeah the though the ones that are crazy right now which kind of blew my mind were the RX 5 580s those things were like 150 bucks 
Some some were selling on Facebook, like less than a hundred dollars for the longest time, and now they're like four hundred dollar cards. What the hey? And that's probably due to mining. I think that's that's a definite factor in that part. It seems that I will be sitting with my 2080 till it dies. Honestly, man, the 2080 is a good card. I don't have any. I wouldn't have any issues with holding on to that if you already have one. It's all of the minor. Yeah, I agree. Yep. I've got a 2070 Super. Yeah, I mean those are decent cards. Nothing wrong with those. You already got RTX. I was sitting on a GTX 1080, um, which just died. So I was like, I had to get a new video card. So I was just like, screw it. I'll just, I'll just spend the money and and be happy with it. Yeah. But I had the chance to buy one for like 700 from a friend. No, it was 800 maybe. And then the prices on StockX continue to go up. So like, I was just like, man, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to take money off his off his plate, so I'll just try to find one for myself. And then, yeah, I don't know if he ever sold it or not. It's fine. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a good card. The 2080 is a, a really good card. I think it's, it's as fast as the 3070, if not more. The 3080 now, if you get that, that's, that's a big jump up. But, like, difference between the 3070 and the 2080, I think it's minimal. So my 1080 Ti died in shop. I bought it from and replaced it with a 2080 because they were out of 1080. Whoa, that's a good, that's a good little flip, man. So you got a, you got a free 2080 because your, uh, your 1080 Ti died. That's pretty good, man. That's 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 longevity right there. I like that. So you're sitting pretty, man. That's not a bad flip. Because the 20 the 20 the 1080 that I have, man, that thing uh, went out of warranty literally like three months after it died no wait three months before it died so i got i took the bad end of that of that pole okay i've got a couple more and then we gotta move the tops and the stems appreciate you guys chilling with me this would have been mega boring if not I was going to make some coffee, but <laughs> I feel like if I did make some espresso right now, I probably wouldn't be able to sleep. So I decided against it. Oh, Panda. Um, I still have the broken NK65. Uh, if you are interested, DM me and I'll, I'll work something out with you too on that. If you, if you still were interested in it. Because I remember you were asking about it before. They they did replace it, so I, I do have my replacement already. So the other one's just like straight up parts. It's definitely a good, usable, decent board. So I would not worry about it. Twenty eighty from Aces is super annoying. What do you mean? Why is it super? Why is the uh, twenty eighty from Aces super annoying? I'm curious. How is it broken? Might be interested. Well, uh, so <laughs> uh, I talked to Pando about it a lot. So the basically the gist of it is my NK65 that I received, the entry NK65 entry edition that I received from Novel Keys. Um, the one that I received was damaged, uh, but they they ended up replacing it with a, a fresh one. So that one that I got is fine now. So now I just have the broken one. Then the the one that's broken is like the case has small cracks in it. Um, there's much more that goes into it, but the PCB itself is not working either. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me know, man. Yeah, just DM me and we can talk about it if you want. That's totally fine. Yeah, I haven't really been doing much though other than just working, man. It's been pretty busy at work too, so that's that's been uh what's been affecting my schedule too. But I've been trying to keep up with things. I watch streams, a couple of streams here and there. Oh yeah, I was thinking of it for my sister. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, my oh dude, my wife is in love with the Novel Keys 
uh, the NK65 milkshake. It's a, it's an amazing board for what I paid for it. You know, like it was like 150, 130 or something. I can't remember. Um, it turned out to be a really good board. I'm a whiz with PCB repair. I'd be down to give it a shot. Hey, yeah, nice. So what, what kind of PCB repair do you do? I'm curious. I've got like two NK60s. I'm not NK60. I've got two DZ60s that are pretty much just like, one of them is like not even receiving anything. I've, I've tried to, uh, what is it, reball the, the computer on it. No success. I even fluxed it, nothing. So that's been kind of a pain. I do like I do like PCB design though. I don't know if you guys uh, watch Gondolin. Gondol well, yeah, you, you probably watch Gondolin because uh, you watch Mr. Keeves, but I like his design, man. He does really good stuff. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. I'm really good at finding and repairing broken traces though. Nice. Do you have any links to send me? I'd, I'd love to figure that out too. Just for fun. I mean, I probably won't be doing it on stream or anything like that, but probably would be kind of cool. It would be easier to get a new PCB. Yeah, seriously. Uh, also, like what I did was with one of my PCBs, which I got like super cheap. It was like literally 20 bucks. Uh, the trace was taken out. So I ended up just uh, jumping from the uh, diode. And then that fixed it. But at the same time, it's like, it looks really ghetto. <laughs> it looks really rigged. Shipping it over this place would, would be a pain. Yeah, I agree. Mostly just requires good eyesight. Yeah. I think if I got one of those micro cameras. Oh, I, I had one of them, but I don't know where it's at. And maybe use that to, to do it. That'd be kind of cool. I think I did try to flux it. And um, what is it called? Rehydro? Not rehydro. It's... Uh, reball it but it didn't seem to take I, I know people do it with GPUs that'd be kind of cool shipping it to me yeah <laughs> it would be man I know that you mentioned like you had a buddy that's out here too that ships you stuff but no I get it yeah so I'll probably put it on the discord shortly uh, and then we'll see what happens you're already on the discord so we'll discuss it there no worries I mean, it's a decent board though. It's the also like I was considering just like doing a a wire wire switch build. That'd be kind of cool, but I just don't have time to do it. Plus, I've got so many other things to work on first. Yeah, I, you know, one of the things too about that board, I felt really guilty because that video got like a lot of negative attention towards novel keys and like. At, at one point, like, I, I felt bad that maybe I was causing a ruckus on their end, but at the same time, like, I wanted to be honest with my, my video. Um, and it could have been more of, like, the USPS causing issues, because lately they've been, like, big issue out here for me, like, with shipping my product, my, my packages. You can send it over to me. I might be able to give it a shot. Yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> 109 for thermal shipping good grief yeah no wonder they gave you a free keycap dude yeah so uh, i think the issue with my usps is not like my actual delivery guy but it's like when they get stuff in their factory in this area maybe they just like smush it dude like like an elephant just puts its foot on it type I have something that shipped from Singapore and they just completely refused to track it. Been waiting on it for a month and a half. Wow. That sucks, dude. Was it anything from uh, Ilum KB? That would suck, dude. And after that, I paid like 40 bucks tax for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Panda's overseas. Yeah. He gives us the insight. Man.
Man, I can't believe how long it's been that I've been doing this. Duck Orang shipping cost only $50 though. Oh, nice. Man, you got some decent high-end boards though. Did you get the EV-75? I don't know if uh, you answered that or not. Is it the EV-75? I don't remember the name of it. And they don't declare the full price, so not tax this time. <laughs> hey, nice. Win. Like, that's like a hack. That's funny. <laughs> it's priceless. Keyboards are priceless. They don't need to be taxed. They're like precious memories. Oh, sheesh, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we got pretty bad taxes here too, but I guess compared to other places, it's, it can't be as bad. I think the, they're saying that the tariffs are what's killing it for us right now. I remember when I was <clears throat> um, working on my BMW, there was a set of wheels that was $350. These are wheels that are German replicas, but they're made in China. And then like within two months, that price went to like 450 So like a $100 jump just so they can match the tariffs. Okay, nice. Yeah, I've been I've been taking my time too. There was a couple boards that I wanted to jump on just because other people were mentioning it, but nothing's really jumped out to me. I think I might look at that bar knob. I do like I do like those guys. They they're pretty really they're really good guys too though. Like I I I do I do like to support like um designers and creators. If they have like an original idea, and if I think like they're like a decent company, yeah, I'll support them. I'll, I'm down to do that. Oh, nice. Uh, Orion was like my dream board when I got into the hobby. So I spent those artisan $400 on it. Nice, man. Yeah, that's smart, dude. That's the best way to do it, honestly. Like if if you want a, a high-end board, uh, but you don't have a lot uh, to start with, or you don't have a lot of money. A lot of people can just get into flipping um, keyboards. I don't like flipping if you're just trying to make money so that you can, you know, not have anything invested in the hobby. But like, if you're into like, if you want a high-end board and you want to get a board that you want, flipping is a decent way to do it. Like, you get a board, say for instance, like an NK65 or a Tofu, build it, sell it for more, and just keep going from there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, or like, or like trading and adding cash. That's like another one. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, that's the way to do it. But but the the sad thing is like people take advantage of flipping and they just they buy um, keyboards with no interest in the community uh, just to sell it and get profit off of it, and then uh, it just makes the 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 hobby less fun because you have people that are just buying it up for no interest so trading up for what you want yeah basically found some rare boards with vintage switches hitose mx orange oh nice did you find those there i i know you guys well in russia they have some really really decent uh mx uh switches i've seen a couple people that come out with those dude that's rare man so what do you, are you gonna keep those or are you going to uh, trade up? Got them for like a hundred dollars total. Holy crap! Good deal, man. Good deal. It was back in 2018. Nice. I'd love to hear those, man. That'd be interesting. If you ever do a sound test with those, or if you ever use them for those, let me know, dude. I'd love to see what those sound like. Got into the hobby with those. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. That's that's a pretty big flex though. That's pretty good. Yeah, I've actually been um, enjoying my MX Blacks. Uh, when I first started, like um, I started, oh gosh, it's kind of cringy, but I was into those Tifu cream switches, which I mean the creams actually sound decent to me after you break them in because I, I did break them in, but like. I don't know. I just feel like um, I was so blinded by like just something that sounded good 
Um, but I didn't actually look further into it. And I, I, f I got the Cherry MX Blacks and I really enjoyed I really enjoy those from my other boards that I've had in the past. Uh, let's see. It was back in 2018. I got into the hobby with those, sold them for $600 and got my first custom. Wow. Good deal, man. I'm usually pretty generous. I sell most of my stuff for retail and I have given people a lot of invoices, but it always a pain to try and to sort through all the people trying to take advantage of me. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Um, there are lots of people who want to take advantage of you just so they can flip it. It's, it's tough, man. Uh, and what I found too is like Pokemon cards are like that. Sorry, I keep bringing up Pokemon. It's just, this is exactly the same thing. Uh, my son and I, we like to just open packs and stuff, but we can't find packs lately. Pokemon card packs. Uh, the only way to find them is if you buy them like from people buying them in the store and then selling them on eBay or like local spots. So it's been kind of tough uh, for us finding some, but I did find a couple places that have it. And I'm not sharing where. <laughs> yeah. I'm not rich enough to be generous in this hobby. Yeah, it, and yeah, that's like another thing too is right now, even with the GPU thing, right? So say for instance, you want to upgrade your 2080 to like a, th like a 3080. If if you sold your video card for MSRP current and then you wanted to upgrade uh, to a 3080, you'd be losing like crazy, man. But if you sold it for what everybody else is asking for right now, then you would only spell, spend a little bit amount to upgrade. You know what I mean? To add cash on. So people are like up in arms about like not, not having to pay, not paying MSRP to people selling on like hardware swap. But at the same time, if those people are trying to upgrade too, you have to take into account for the fact that they have to pay a higher price as well. I want to upgrade my 3600X to a 5600X, but that's not going to happen for a few months. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually on a 3600. I don't even think it's an X. I don't know how it works. I, I, I just went to PC Parts Picker and I was like, click, 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 and I, I just got my parts. Yeah, my, my buddy though, uh, Jordan... He's a streamer. He actually plays StarCraft 2. I think he just got a 5950X. Those have been crazy hard to find too. Yeah, honestly, man, like if you're not doing hardcore like CPU usage type things, then it's not really that big of a deal. I probably could have spent the extra money and got a bigger processor, but I don't think I really need it. I'm coming from a 9600K 9, Intel. So the the speed difference is, is pretty minimal. I think the, the best um, difference is the RAM. I think I've noticed that. I'm more interested in changing motherboard than PCU, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. Uh, CPU, yeah. Sorry, I, I read that too. <laughs> PCU. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, actually, oh man, the the uh, micro uh, motherboard. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny, dude. I had no idea how tiny ITX mini ITX is. It's like in the palm of your hand. It fits like in the palm of your hand. It was pretty funny. I never, I've never seen it before until that, until that point. All right, now I've got the tops. I really hope I've been doing. I haven't really been paying attention to my looting as much, but hopefully I did a decent job. We'll see. Oh, did you guys watch the Justice League, the new one, uh, the Snyder Cut? Uh, I'm supposed to watch it tonight, but I'm doing this instead. You should, I should stream more. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, I'd like to, but like, I don't know. I'm just not as good at it, I guess. I'm fine with ATX. It's just that some USB ports are not in great shape. I'm fine with ATX it's just that some USB ports are not in great shape oh you do you mean your current ATX or like the way that ATX is set up okay okay yeah current yeah um <laughs> funny story I actually 
messed up one of my motherboards because I didn't put the back plate on there correctly. I ended up um, trying to force it in after the motherboard was in because I didn't want to take the motherboard out and I ended up breaking like two of the USBs by like trying to force it in between. So dumb. But I don't, I don't remember which model I went to with the Ryzen. The current one is a three Z three seventy. Yeah. The ITX motherboards that I ha I've used are such a pain. Finished a build with one and then had to take it all apart because the front panel audio was underneath the VRAM heatsink. Was super weird. It took a lot of time. Yeah. What I've noticed uh, about the uh, the small form factor is like uh, when you reach your hand in to like work on it. Like I literally like. Well, the scar's gone. Well, look at that. I reached in and then like to grab something and I like, pulled my hand out and like something grabbed me and like slit like put a big old cut in my hand <laughs> because it's such a tight space it's so hard to work with mine had integrated back plate thankfully IO shield to be exact yeah 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 my <laughs> ours uh the one that I had um that I did it, it, it was like pop in and the only way to pop it in is if you separate the motherboard in the case and I didn't do that I was lazy that's my own fault that's something I've been working on too is like stop i'm trying to be more patient with that stuff and like not trying to force things and do it the right way so that i don't have to spend more money or work harder on it later that's like that's like my biggest issue in life uh is like taking the easy road or trying to take the easy road and it ends up costing me more time and money in the long run anyway yeah so uh beans what do you like just build computers for fun or do you have people like in clients and stuff that you uh, build for I'm curious clients mostly nice nice heck yeah man clients and family yeah that's perfect yeah I'd, I'd like to I've you know I always had a dream especially when I was in high school to like start a computer company like a custom computer company but it never happened Although business is slow with COVID. Yeah, I definitely think with COVID, it's it's made things a lot slower. Yeah, I build PCs for people I know too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's a funny thing though, like about us, like uh, PC guys and like people that know how to build computers. We always tend to be the ones that everybody goes to when it comes to like a computer build. I'll have people that like I don't speak to for months and sometimes years. And the first thing they say to me is like, can I help them with like their app or programming something or or fixing a computer or, you know, something of that sort, just because that's what we're known for, I guess. That's funny that you guys mentioned that though. It's been fun though, like building my first PC, but I think the next one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can uh, teach my son how to do it. When I was, uh, I wanna say fifth grade, that's when I first had like interest in building computers, which is kind of a regular, like, if back then, like if you if you were into computers, you were a nerd, but now it's like a cool thing to do. <laughs> Times have changed. It's nice. Now, like everybody wants to get into IT and things like that, which is cool. It seems like tech is the way the world's going right now. It is a ton of fun. Yeah, like I can. Can you find a notebook for my son? Is the first sense I hear from some people in like years. Yeah, exactly, man. It's so funny, right? Like it's such a common thing within like our our community as, as like tech tech savvy people is like yeah. When somebody doesn't know how to do something, we become the people that, that uh they go to. Building PCs is what got me on track for what I want to study. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's I mean that's what happened for me. Um uh, I, I used to so my first custom computer I think I've mentioned this before. It was like an old uh, server case that somebody was tossing out. It's probably like an old IBM case, but it was like full ATX. Um, and then we pulled parts from like other computers that people were tossing out, like uh, the heat sink, the power supply. And then we ended up just buying the motherboard, the RAM, and the and the processor. So we had like a, a pretty pretty dope setup, and like we would carry these. We would cut the cases, like the side panels back then. The side panels was like, cle like acrylic windows in your side panel, was unheard of. It was like, it was like nothing you've ever seen before. Nobody had it, 
and then we would cut those and like fan cutouts in your case nobody had it and like it was unheard of so we were like customizing stuff before it even even became like manufactured yeah that, and that was that was pretty awesome the land parties like when you go to a land party you like bring your huge rig to like play counter-strike or other uh was it unreal tournament uh doom other games like that there was another game quake i think and then like you would just put your huge computer on the desk it was amazing okay i'm off i need to get at least four hours of sleep see you later boys yeah man thanks for dropping by panda i appreciate it uh, hopefully i don't take too much longer than looting yeah yeah so that it's been fun the whole thing with covid though it's just kind of taken out of people but luckily like with the stimulus checks and stuff it's been helping with like purchases like this but we'll see how how it keeps going I'm so bad with money yeah so what are you going to school for now beans i'm curious you're in this hobby we know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep that's exactly right I don't know what that USB is. Not a hundred percent set on anything yet, but most likely computer engineering. Yeah, that's a good basis. Like you can pretty much start anywhere from there. I've been like trying to um, uh, mentor a couple people here and there. Like if they have questions, I'll try to mentor them and give them pointers and uh, ways in which they can find work when they first get out of school. It's, it's it's so competitive right now because it, a lot of people are jumping in. But really, all you got to do is just be the person that doesn't give up. Yep. I've actually been getting back into programming lately. That, that, was, been, that was kind of fun. I was learning about um, scraping HTML code and finding text within that code. Uh, but then, like, there's also, like, some bot automated stuff which is pretty cool but it's also confusing I'm still trying to learn that stuff though i miss program i'm way too impatient for coding yeah <laughs> if yeah if you've coded before man oh my goodness it's so frustrating like you work for hours on like one line of code um you get it working and then you go down and then you write something else and then for some reason that code that you just wrote affects the rest of the code uh, you keep looking for hours and hours and hours. Turns out that you accidentally hit a space somewhere or capitalized wrong or something like that. Yeah, it's so crazy. But I mean, if you're good at it, it's a good way to make money. I just, I don't know. I can't stick with it. I don't, I'm, I'm not confident myself to like not break a company's website or something. Yeah, I got... Yeah, it got taught to me super weird too. Yeah, there's, there's many different ways that people are teaching it now. Like, I mean, it, it, essentially, it is like its own language, right? So you learn it as a language at first, and then eventually you learn how to, well, well, as a logic language first, and then you learn how to use actual visual software, visual coding software. I'm taking AP Computer Science right now, and it hurts my head how badly it's taught. Not using a real language, it's like JavaScript recited from memory. Oh, yeah, that stuff is... I know which exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't like that. Like logically speaking, there's just there's just ways that like like if you get into it, you can just figure out how it works, what doesn't work, and then learn it from there. But when you're like, yeah, when you're at that stage where you're just like learning, uh, it's almost like Common Core math. I can't. I love my kids. I cannot do their math work because the math work they do it's just so like separated and dumbed down that it's like so impossible for you to understand and i'm not saying that it doesn't help some kids but i can't help my son learn it if i don't understand it myself i mean i know it i took it for the credit it's just so annoying to use it yeah i agree yeah uh, well, the good thing about languages like java c sharp uh, c plus python uh, Visual Studio code. It's like it's it's pretty similar. So like if you know one, you can kind of learn the rest of them too. 
And if you don't know it, you can you can figure it out easier than if you were just like fresh uh, learning. Oh man, we got the springs going, dude. This is. I feel like I should just bag. I should just bag loot these. What do you think? Should I just bag loot these? Let me get a bag real quick. Oh, oh man. And then I gotta film these. Reef. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, man, they, they just um they just pay loop services. John B, he's not here, but he's the one that Teha uses. I, I'm honestly like considering just doing that. I don't know how it works though, like you have to do you have to deliver your switches to them or I don't know. Something something like that. Yeah, we're just gonna bag with these. Are are you in uh, East Coast Beans? I'm in North Carolina. Oh gosh, I'm getting my whale built by friend because he offered to lube the switches for me. Dude, that is a deal. Yeah, man. So is there a reason why he's building it for you, other than like uh, he's lubing it? Oh, man, I want a whale. A whale would be nice. That's that's one of those boards that I I do want. You're in Colorado. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's probably pretty common for people to ask you if it's cold out there, so I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> it's cold out here. He's been wanting to build one for a while. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. That's nice of you to let him build it then. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I, sh I should do commissions, but... My worry like about doing commissions for people is that I won't be able to build keyboards as fast as they'd like. And I think if I did do that though, you know, like it probably would uh, be easy for me to stream because I would have constant content. But at the same time, like I don't wanna, one, I'm like paranoid I'll mess somebody's board up and two, like I don't wanna take too long if I'm slacking. Saves, saves me time and money on stabs. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, you know what? I need to go through my stabs, too. I gotta figure out what I got. I do have a board that I need to pull the stabs off so I can put it on this build. Which should be fine. It shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. Okay. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I don't know if I wanna put 205G0 in here. Maybe I'll put some 3204 in there. Yeah, I'll do some 3204. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Is that too much? Is that enough? Uh, I don't have any of the, the thinner one. I don't G105. So hopefully this will be enough. Man, I feel so wasteful though. I just don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to 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 loop each one of these. I'm ready to get it done. All right, here we go. I gotta put some air in it. Okay. Trading the well for artisans, really? How much does the well go for? Like how much are you how much value are you trying to get for it? Curious. I'm way too satisfied with the HHKB. Yeah, man, if you got something you enjoy, dude, there's no shame in, like, yeah, just getting rid of it for what you want, you know? That's smart, though. You can get some pretty valuable artisans for doing that, especially the ones you want, you know? 
about 700 okay that's actually cheaper than i was expecting i thought the whale was a lot more i thought it was going for a lot more uh, this is the bag has like a hole in it so it's just deflating so now it's not bouncing lame where's this hole at i'll find you Wow, it's got like a big hole in there somewhere. I'm giving the guy a good deal. Oh, dude. That is a very good deal. Okay. Yeah, because I thought it was in like the $1,500 range or if not more for that. So, good on you, man. Yeah, you were saying earlier how you do uh, prefer to give good deals on that. Good job, man. That's awesome you do that. Oh, Okay. Yeah, I know Simon uh, did a review on it. Uh, he talked about it a couple times. I don't know much about the whale though, but I did. I did see that on his reviews though. Okay, springs are lubidated, lubidated. Now we gotta film these Jimmy Jams. This is gonna be fun. Have you ever filmed before? I hate it. It's the worst. Filming is worse than lubing. <laughs> literally the worst okay yeah all right so do i put the springs before or after the films i don't remember so annoying yeah it is annoying yeah. after okay here we go okay it probably would have been better too if like if i just did Nauki dry yellows so that the um case was white i mean the case was black and then the films were yellow all right, I'm trying to remember which side, is it this side? It is, okay. And then I'm just gonna put the spring to let myself know which one's which, which one's done. <laughs> this is gonna take a lot. I just buy lubed in film switches, don't have the patience. Yeah, man, I need to, I am there with you. I'm 100% there with you. I need to do that. I just like I'm 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 super cheap too. All right. Oh, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Yeah. That's going to sound really good. Nice. Okay. Here we go. probably shouldn't do it individually but I just want to make sure I get it fit correctly the last time I did this some of them weren't fit correctly because I try to like mass do it All right. and it was like bumping okay no these are I mean uh, it it actually did benefit a lot on the sound so I think that that was a good idea to do that good idea Dustin my HHKB has spoiled me. It sounds and it feels too good. Dude, now you're going to make me get a HHKB, okay? You got to stop. Because my wife is getting tired of me buying stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I really wanted the heavy... Was it the heavy grail? Is what it's called? By Norbauer? Oh, I messed up. Dang it. Do it. It's like one... Eight. Yeah. I need to, man. So... You have the HHKB, the black edition, is that right? Uh, I saw one on Amazon not too long ago. I should have just done that so I can get it, like, next day. I actually just had it, like, I, I tried to purchase this uh, GTX 1650 for my son. That canceled. Um, but I actually won, oh gosh, the 3060. <clears throat> 3060. So I actually saved money, so I could probably use that leftover money. To get that because i was trying to buy the aftermarket to get a heavy grill you have to already have an hhkb yeah okay yeah the black one's the way to go yeah so i'll tell you how using that one it looks really good topri topri it just like it sounds like it would feel good too you know the way that it's done when i first got in the hobby i, I, I didn't understand it i thought it was like i thought it was basically like bubble um What's it called? Bubble switches, but it's not. Yeah, that's the reason I got it at first. Yeah. 
He had a really nice one. I, I think he did go on the heavy grail too. From last I spoke, he was um, looking at it. I'm pretty sure he's he's probably gonna review it when Norbauer ships it out. So, yep, that'd be pretty dope. <clears throat> Oh, this is going to take so long. I'm sorry, man. I apologize. I'm trying to get as little loop of Mahim as possible. Every time I start thinking about that I'm bored of it and want to mix it up, I try a different chord and realize how much more I like my HHKB. Dude, so what's going to happen Like, if I get the HHKB right and I like that board more than my Key Colt, that's going to be super depressing to me because I really love my Key Colt. And if that board makes me feel better, then my key colt, then what am I gonna do with my life? I'll just I'll just have to live my life with HHKB for the rest of my life? That's not fair. I want variety. <laughs> that's you know honestly though, that's that's kinda how I am with my key colt too. Uh but no you know, one of the boards that I really like though is this my brutal sixty is like this is actually one of my favorite keyboards. It sounds so good, feels so good. Uh, I just really worked really hard on this and made it sound and feel really good. HHKB is too fun, though. It's half of the joy. There's so many things you can do. Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Oh, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. I didn't realize you weren't followed, my bad. I don't know if that just came in now or not. Yeah. You know what, I think I'm gonna get one, dude. I really, I think it's gonna happen. But like, the thing is too, man, like I got to review my boards. I got to, I got to, I'm going to have to research on it and re learn more about Topa Keys if I plan to review it. And that's going to take some time. Rare Topa Key Caps are crazy though. Yeah, I know. That's one thing I did find. What's the board? Uh, it's not, is it a Philco? That, I can't remember which board it is that has Topra that everybody's trying to get keycaps for. I'd be glad to help out with research stuff. Yeah, man, that would be awesome, dude. If you're on, I think you're on the Discord too, so that'd be cool. Yeah. For me, like, uh, the biggest thing that took a while for me to figure out was like, looping technique and also like how software works. I, I got into the the Vias, not the Vias stuff, but the um, QMK for a little bit, but then it, like everybody started using Vias, so like everything I learned in QMK was like worthless. <laughs> so like yeah it was and it, it's like a lot of linux based stuff which is cool i really enjoyed it but now everybody uses via so it's like useless but i guess like if if you want to use a board <clears throat> that doesn't have via on it yet you have to use qmk anyway so it's still kind of usable but i have a feeling from now on everybody's gonna be using via and then qmk is not gonna have a reason to be around so we'll see. Have you heard of the HHKB HG Japan? I have not. Let's take a look. Oh, is that the Japan one? Is it with the J Japan? Hmm. Send me a link if you can. Rarest, most expensive keyboard of all time. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. This is the one, I think. Is this it right here? HG? I think that's it. Wow, enamel coated keys. It was super limited edition and very expensive. There was also the Pro HG, which didn't have enamel, but had an aluminum case that was about half the price, putting around 1,600 euros. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like I like exclus exclusivity. I do like that. I think that's one of the best things about the, holy crap. It went for $5,500. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I mean, it's uh, that's one of my favorite things about the community too, is like the exclusivity of everything. But some of the stuff is just like everybody has it too, though. Not aftermarket. Oh my goodness, retail price. I guess like if you're one of the rich people over there, I mean, it makes sense. But 
Like, who who would pay that much though? There can't be enthusiasts that are that that high high profile, right? Maybe, like a like who would maybe like like I wouldn't even see like Bill Gates buying something like that. Oh really? So who would buy that? Like there has to be a demand for it too to have that price that high. At least three others are held in museums. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, if it's that rare. That's kind of cool though. I like that. I wonder if it was intentional to make it that rare. Smart. Okay. Only 50 were made. Wow. Jeez, that's like more expensive than a Rolex. It's ridiculous. So it's got to be worth way more now too. Now that it's uh, in museums and more rare to the public. Imagine somebody who just like picked it up not realizing it. Well, I guess if it was 5,500 bucks retail, the average Joe wouldn't just get it. So it's not like a super rare comic nobody knows about. Dude, these are. I'm actually very happy with these. I've been I've been lazy too with like the NK silks of my other keyboards. Like I don't even lube them. Uh, some people do it without, without lube, but I can I can see a huge difference in sound and feel when it's unlubed. So this is I'm 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 really happy that I decided to lube these because this is gonna make a diff big difference in the sound when I type on it. I don't even remember. I think these are lubed. I can't remember if I filmed them though. I don't think I did. So the film uh, switches is going to be very, very different. These over here, which are my favorite, um, are the NK dry yellows. Those are filmed as well. So these are going to have a very similar sound. So I'm going I'm to be happy about that. If it sounds anything similar to what this one does. Oh man. We are... Super close to this finish line, dude. Appreciate you joining the stream, though, man. It makes it a lot less boring. Is, is somebody there? Matthew? I think I think the dogs or my son is at the door. But nobody's answering. It just sounds like somebody's squeezing the, the doorknob handle. Could be a ghost. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Ron, is that you? Okay, it's my son. No, I'm still streaming. What's up? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be down in a little bit, okay, bud? That's my bud. That's my dude, Rylan. Alright. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. Me and my kids love Minecraft. I get so stuck in Minecraft. Like, I've never beat the game because I, I just get so lost in, like, I just, I like building the houses in there. Like, I like building biomes for, like, the animals so that they can enjoy themselves and, like, prosper. <laughs> and, like, I'll, I'll never, I'll never go for the ender pearls or anything like that. And I always, I, I don't really even go to, like, the, what's it called? What's the place that you go? The ender realm. Not ender realm. What am I thinking? I never finished it. I think we did actually try to kill some blaze with some snowballs, but we ended up taking a break and then we haven't been back on since. You just play on servers? Oh nice. What servers do you play on? What kinda what kind of things do you do on servers? A lot of people I know actually do servers too. Minecraft is such a such a unique and fun game though. It's very like like uh my kids play Roblox now too and Roblox can be kind of like toxic sometimes, so they've actually been going back to Minecraft just so I can get escape that environment. I'm a bit of a sweat, mostly just PV PVP stuff. Nice, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hunger Game. Uh, what is it? Uh, what is it called? Not uh, Battle Royales. That's where pretty much where they came from, right? Like Minecraft was like uh, they put Hunger Games in there, and then everybody started playing BR there, and then it branched over to like actual. Uh, other video game genre 
That's pretty dope. Yeah, seriously. Like, um, yeah, there's just like people there that are just like, especially like, uh, what the sad thing too is like my kids, they're, you know, they're adolescent. Uh, but then you have adults on there that are like trying to attack kids and they don't like it. So they'll take breaks. But we've been playing uh, Fortnite. The new season just came out. We actually played today. It's crazy different now. Uh, the way things are. So like I have to relearn it. That sucks. I wasn't amazing before, but now it's just like I'm just more worse. I suck again, basically. All right. I'm about to just turbo these and just do batch again. It's just taking too long to do it individually. But I, I do think that um, filming was the best way to do it. They sound way better after filming. Okay. Let's make sure I do this. Beans, did you did you keep your um your hive sixty? There was somebody that said they sold theirs after they got it. I don't remember if it was you or not. There was a couple people that got it. Uh, that I actually knew on Discord. I haven't sold it yet, kind of trying to, trying to though. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if it doesn't, if it doesn't satisfy you, I, I get it. There was um, a couple people that tried to flip it, I think. But the thing is about this board too, is like nobody really knows what it sounds like yet. Th since they haven't del delivered like the full batch. So it's kind of like an unknown board at the moment. <laughs> I'd rather put that money on a heavy, yeah, heavy grill. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Are you going for the heavy grill? Nice. Okay. Cool, man. I'd love to see that too, man. I really want to see how it sounds when you get it. That'd be really cool. Jeez, that thing's like six hundred bucks for that thing, though. Oh, that's a lot. It's worth though. Makes your board big money time. Haven't gotten it yet, but you can still pre-order. Oh, nice. Nice, man. Yeah, I really like, um, I really like Norbauer. His, his whole outlook on the community and his knowledge and experience. I do like, I do like his, um, perspective. So I try to watch some of his stuff that he, he has out there. He's very detail oriented very much a perfectionist uh, as far as like quality control as well that's important to me like if somebody is very focused on quality control that's why like uh, I really appreciate the way Taco Bell takes care of like quality control and if it doesn't match what they're expecting then they send it back it's just kind of sad that uh, somebody that he's worked with in the past has kind of screwed him over which I've seen before you know <clears throat> I play a lot of paintball, so anodizing is very common to see people that just do um, half the work they're paid for, unfortunately. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be my end game board for me. I only really need a couple of boards, and one of them is going to be the Heavy Grail. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. I mean, from what it sounds like, you're in love with that thing already, so it's not like you're changing your board out much. You're just you're upgrading your board, your current board. So I, I do like that. <clears throat> I did see that there was some people modding those though. I need to learn about that too. Did 
there was one that I was looking at. The guy was like, it was like green or something like that. It was black HHKB but green Topra. I'm not sure how that works. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Yeah, only thing I don't like is the plastic case, so it, it'll be perfect. Yeah, my, my keyboard that I really like, um, which you can't really see, it is the CM Storm Quickfire. Uh, it's a great keyboard, and it sounds amazing, types amazing, but the case is plastic because it's like a it's a pre-made um, board. It's basically a replica of a, a TKL Philco um, with Cherry MX Blacks. It, it types really good. It feels really good. Um, they actually make an aluminum case for it that I want to get because that was like <clears throat> pretty much my entry into custom keyboards. Uh, I customized that board before I actually bought a custom keyboard. Uh, I redid the switches in that board, desoldered and resoldered. They're not really good. I did a sound test on it too with some uh, tie-out keycaps. It sounds pretty decent. I was very happy with it. I guess I'm gonna drink here. Ugh. There we go. That one's a little dead sounding. There we go. Lube the PCB and sliders, not the PCB. What do you mean? Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. I didn't read the rest. Get some resin, hit pro commission, throw some DES domes on, get some real force silent sliders, lube the PCB up, swap the controller, and then um, you'll be done with the heavy grail. Lube the PCB and sliders, not just the PCB. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes sense. See, that's like what I don't know too is like, I didn't. I don't understand like how the whole lube in the PCB thing works and the sliders. <clears throat> so I guess I'll have to learn that too. I'm gonna be researching the HHK after this stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen what it looks like, and I saw, I saw Norbauer, uh his videos on like how he does the build for it, which is really cool because he actually like himself does the instructions it's really unique that you see a manufacturer do that but it, it's very it's gonna be very different for sure okay Gosh, I keep forgetting the film come on yeah It's like, no, don't. Oh my gosh, just stop turning. Why are you turning? There we go. This is why it's annoying because this little film, if you don't get in there right for us, it takes one hour to get in. Uh, Lubing Topra is fun. Nowhere near as annoying as Cherry Max. That's a, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. It's probably like you just. Do, do you have to do it individually or is it like at one one time? I'm curious how that works. Ugh. Okay. All right, we are more than halfway done. Maybe, maybe, no, actually, probably not. I'm just gonna mass do this. It's if I had my uh switch holder, it probably would be easier, but I don't know where it's at.
There's an individual slider for each key. Oh. Living the PCB works for everything though. Okay. Nice. I didn't know that. Actually, um, I think sliders are actually pretty interesting. I'd, I'd like to see how that looks too. I got to make sure I get those stabilizers before I start. I think I have one board with stabilizers I gotta grab. One PCB that's already got lubed. I just gotta pull them out. This seems to be much faster this way. Don't do this. It's like stuck. <laughs> do you have a sound test of it, Beans? It, it makes me happy to see how happy you are with this board, to be honest. I love when people just enjoy things. Post on the high sword. Okay, sweet. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll check it out in a little bit. Heck yeah, man. Let me see if I can find the recording. I'll send it to you. Okay, awesome. Thank you. It just solidifies my, my reasoning to buy an HHKB. How long have you had that HHKB? I'm curious. My son's like bored right now. He wants to play Pokemon. So I've got to. Hopefully, it won't be too late by the time I get out. I want to play some Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, I just sniffed in the mic. Ugh. Oh, did you hear the sound test earlier that I did? I got a new microphone. I don't know if you noticed. You probably saw it, but that Rode microphone I just got, um, just for this particular reason for sound tests. That's something I'm trying out to see if it'll help with my sound tests. Because in the past I used my dynamic microphone, and that's just the worst. So I'm trying this out. Oh gosh, it's not being friendly. Okay. Three months ago? Oh, okay. No worries. Oh. oh, no, don't do this. Stop. See, that's why the tweezers, man. You need these tweezers to adjust it. Oh, gosh. I hate films. This is what happens when I mass do it. I always, like, barely touch that little side piece, and then it just wants to fly everywhere. All right. At least it's, like, snug. Oh, yeah, because the recording was with my super crap. Dude, it's okay, man. 
uh, I, I actually don't mind like um, I prefer honestly like if somebody uses their phone over like uh, a super noise reduction style uh, microphone where they're like pretty much just like changing the sound to make it sound better I prefer like an actual phone because the phones are more unedited so like I'll watch those over others uh, a lot of times just for that reason no dude you don't have to record one more time it's fine <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist yeah, I don't I don't mind uh sound tests like that. Yeah, like uh a lot of the sound tests that I, when I when I watched, like when I originally started, they're very deceiving because like they're they sound so cool, they sound so good, but when you see that keyboard in person, it sounds nothing like it. Like it's so like edited that it sounds nothing like what you expect. Uh, and I like I've 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 been uh unintentionally doing that on some of my videos too so that's why i got this microphone to try and put some of that real sound in where it's like the noise and ping from the board and like actual background noise too to to show that you are recording correctly okay sweet thanks man let's, let's pause this i want to hear it okay do you mind if i share it on if i if i play it real quick i'm just gonna listen to my headphones i need to take a break all right, sweet. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's you know that sounds really similar to what I have here too. What what switches did you go with that right there? I'm curious. I feel like uh, the one the reds that I went with up here they were a little too light, so I feel like the the actuation that I have is a little too fast, so it doesn't sound as as like thocky as I want. I guess like I don't mind the clack if, if it's like a super fast one, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, did did I did I did it show on there? I tried to turn it up. I don't know if I turned it up or not. My um my last keyboard that I had, the tofu that I did on here the that one was like i want to say there were yellows they're uh, silk yellows that one just sounded so much spring noise in it too okay wait was that the hhkb or was that the uh hive sound test which one was that all right let me listen to that too oh nice okay so that's why it sounded like that okay cool dang that is a good sound then man All right, let's hear this one. Oh, wait. <laughs> is that, hold on, is that too loud? Oh, no, that's good. Oh, yeah, that sounds good, dude. Yeah. Dang, dude. I like it. Very nice. <laughs> you type fast. Nice. 
me hear your uh let me hear your alphas on your uh hhkb Nice, dude. Sounds good. Sounds really good to me. I'm also relearning my layout, though, switching to Dvark Div from QWERTY. What's that layout? Let me look at that layout real quick. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's very different. Oh my goodness, dude. So wh what's the reason that you would go to that instead? Is there a reason that you wanted to go to that layout instead? Is it easier for you to type fast or something like that on there? I don't know if I could do that. That'd be kind of tough. That'd be really tough. All right. This one looks, these are going pretty good. I think it's much better when I do it this way though. It's faster. I think I have like two springs I gotta find though. Uh, so I might just do some quick ones and then look for it later. Typing faster really has been the goal. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense if that's the reason. What's your words per minute? I'm still at, I'm hovering at a, uh, 100 at max. Honestly, like, I don't I don't really care about uh, much faster than that just because it seems kind of, uh, I, I, I cause, the more, f the faster I type, the more errors I make. If I can do a consistent, no errors at uh, 100 words per minute, then I'm happy. But my punctuation slows me down too much. Having that shifted punctuation is really nice. Words per minute is what? Uh, 60 seconds? Yep. Mm -hmm. It really just depends. Like you can do 60 seconds or 30 seconds. It just depends on uh, what you prefer. I think I usually go like 30 though. I don't like like one minute words per minute. That's tough, dude. That's like, <laughs> it feels like a year of typing to be honest. My 60 second. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good, man. That's really good. Yeah, I think Teha does one minute uh, words per minute. That's tough. It feels like forever. <laughs> and the reason, why, the reason why I don't even do that on stream too is because I'd probably do like 30 words per minute because I make so many errors and then I have to go back and fix it. And also like the, the amount of time like when I'm typing like that and I'm like thinking too much in between that causes me to slip up. 143 wow pretty good man yeah i know uh darian is really good uh fox is pretty good on there too i haven't really been too into like um improving my speed though but i think uh more importantly it's just consistency and accuracy for me because what i do for work especially like emails and stuff Ugh. i like i like go through i'll type them really fast quick proofread it and then like i'll look back and realize i missed a couple things it's kind of embarrassing but what do you do that's pretty good though i imagine you're you're, you're in college right now too that's really good for her. and i wish um i'm hoping i can teach my kids to type fast like that i think it'll definitely give them better opportunities i'm in high school still unfortunately that is very fortunate though, man. That's that's you're very talented for someone in high school right now. You should be happy about that. I'm proud of it. it it's it amazes me <laughs> like how many um, people who are in this community are actually like in high school too. That's pretty dope. Don't wish that yet, man. Stay in high school as long as you can. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to, so my, my daughter will be going to like high school in a couple years. 
I'm trying to get her into early college. Uh, I think that being able to go to high school to earn your associates is pretty awesome. So I'm hoping that she can she can do that and then we can get her degree and get her started on her career path, whatever it may be. Dude, so I thought I dropped some springs, but apparently I didn't. Oh wait, maybe I did. I think there's one that I'm missing. Yep, it's one. This guy. I'll find it later. What amazes me is just how much money some of those high schoolers have. Dude, I know. I know that 100%. Yeah. For somebody that's like... I, so I have this issue where like I didn't have much when I was a kid. Like We didn't have a lot of money. So now that like I have a job that... It's, it's pretty decent where I can afford stuff again. Uh, I have those like, oh gosh, need to buy things I want because I, I never had it when I was younger. But I definitely agree with you there. But is that, I mean, it's not a bad thing necessarily. It just means that their parents are able to support them easier and better. But some, some people need to get their priorities right too. Don't get your kids stuff just to make them happy. Material things won't always make you happy. Only reason I can spend things is because I had a summer job and I was smart with my trades. Yeah, that's, that's another thing too, man. It seems like you're pretty savvy. That's really good. That's, that's a really good uh, trade skill, actually. You can take that and apply it other places too. Especially like if you look into like stock trading or like crypto. That's a big one right now. Trading crypto is a big, a big uh, move if you can learn how to do it. Robin Hood and the whole thing with that was crazy. The GameStop debacle. That was pretty funny. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the hobby. Definitely the most fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's like, um, I guess in a way, that's how it was for us too when we were younger. I guess with Pokemon, you kind of get that fulfillment. You make a pretty awesome trade. Yeah, that's cool. So how do you usually go about chasing down a rare cap though? Like I imagine that other people are also looking for it. Are you just lucky and like find somebody that doesn't know what they have? Or is it like they you find a good way to haggle with them? Seems like you know a lot about the artisans, though. That one that um, a panda sold was pretty cool. You made a good amount of money on that. Smart to sell it at the time too to make a profit like that. I wonder if it, like if he didn't sell it, would it still make more profit or would the value go down? Also, like if they reproduce it in the future, who knows? Honestly, haven't had, haven't actually really found a super rare cap that I've been looking for. Just progress. Okay, yeah, that's cool, man. I, I haven't really got into like legit artisans though. I think if I did, it'd be pretty bad. I'm already bad with like collecting comic books, uh, keyboards. Oh gosh. So I would be really bad at collecting something like artisans. I actually really like um, original art pieces from comic book correct uh, pump, <clears throat> comic book artists like uh, Neil Adams. Uh, a couple people here and there. Once I get my heavy grill, I'm gonna be done with keyboards. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean that's a good goal, dude. That's a really good goal. Be be uh, satisfied with satisfied with what you have. That's really good. Yeah, that's what I tell myself too. But honestly, like, when, oh gosh, I, I just did that. Luckily, I didn't stab myself. That's actually like what happened with my key cult to me. It's like, I got that board and like, now I don't want anything else. It's kind of sad. I didn't intentionally have that happen, but that's what it is, man. Once you get that number 265, it's like, what else is even, what's, what's, what's even gonna step up from this 
I think I would like to get my hands on a bower. Uh, I would like to get a whale too, actually. But even that, like, after watching Simon's review, it doesn't seem like such a huge jump. Definitely seems like uh, I'm perfect for artisans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see Alex Soto's. Um, he's got a whole collection. Even, like, uh, Andy and them, they got a bunch, too. I just... I don't know, man. I know myself too well to, like, not get into stuff because I know that it'll be just a money pit. I like to I like to buy things also that, like, can be a good investment for long term. So I think keyboards is a good one. I think artisans possibly too, but uh, there's things, like, I try to stay away from too just to keep myself from getting in trouble with my wife. <laughs> Yeah, she's been really cool about, like, this stuff, though. She understands, like, with keyboards, too, like, at any moment, if I wanted to, I can just get rid of one of these and get money back. So, it's been a, it's been a pretty good investment, I think. Uh, I've talked to, with the guy who has it, and he disagrees completely with Simon. Alex doesn't have that much, really, in sliding... It's Lightning that's got the collections. Oh, really? Uh, Lightning's got the collections? Okay. I'll have to hit him up next time I'm on there. I was actually on his stream, uh, was it last night? That's funny. Yeah, well, I guess because... Uh, I, so I, when I first started, I watched a lot, a lot of Alex's videos because he did a lot of the entry-level boards um, on YouTube. So that's probably why I saw it is. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I like Lightning, man. He's really cool. And I like how, like, just positive and chill he is. I try to bring that when when I'm on the streams as well. Uh, let's see. Yep. Wow, dude. Just wow. Where's the spring? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is the spring that I lost. Give me a second. Okay. Let's get the old telephono. Well, looks like that one's gone. I'll just have to either make a new one or we'll see if I need to make a new one or not. All right. Let's get the stabilizers and set it up real quick. These are clip-ins. Oh, wait, no. Screw-ins or clip-ins? These are clip-ins. Give me one sec. I had them. I had them on PCB, but I don't know where my PCB is at. So I guess I'll just use these clip-ins. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that or not, though. <laughs> he covers most of the normie kind of artisans. You know, that makes sense. That really does make sense. Uh, kind of the popular ones. So I get that. All right, let me let me figure this out. I gotta get some right, some good stabilizers. I don't want to use those. Hmm. I swear I just had a good set. I don't know where I put them. I'll be right back. Let me go look and dig for it.
All right, so we're gonna be, <laughs> I gotta pull up from this guy. I'm actually gonna use these keycaps too while I'm at it. Too bad I can't just transfer the PCB, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, let's pull these guys out. This is my Tofu 60 that I gave my wife. Um, but then I got her the, what is it called? The, the NK Milkshake. And she loves that keyboard, so like this thing, unfortunately, is going to be um, tearing down, and I'll probably rebuild this on another video or something. It's a great board, though. I, I love the Tofu. It's such a good starter board. Yeah, man. I mean, I, like, I, I swear, I, I literally just bought like three things of stabs. Either I misplaced them or like I use them on like another quick keyword I forgot about. So I, don't know. I do it all the time. I have so many stabs. Like what boards? That, like what board did I put it in? I can't even remember. I got too many boards that I don't even remember. All right. <laughs> you are getting disassembled today, bro. Mm hmm. Oh, these feel so good. These yellows. Keycap archivist? No, I have not. What is that? Explain. Explain, please. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a good way to like look stuff up. Like, um, they give you prices and stuff on it too. Number one stop for getting into artisans. Really? Okay. See, man, you, look, you're trying to get me into HHKVs. And now you're trying to get me into artisans, bro. You gotta be good on, we gotta be positive influences on each other, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Trying to get me in trouble, man. I'm gonna have to think about it, though. I might have to do it. We'll see. It's not set in stone yet. Save me money on board. That's true. Actually, you know, honestly, though, what I have been doing since I got my key cult, because I haven't really been into keyboards lately, is I've been buying keycaps, uh, keycap sets from GMK. But then, like, at the same time, like, I have so many group buys that I'm into, like, I'm never going to see those keycaps. So I guess maybe Artisans I would see sooner. So maybe that would be a better thing to do. And also, like, they'll, they'll be worth money, too. So I like where your head's at, man. I like it. Okay. Yeah, Tofu case. Just a classic. What did I just hit? Oh gosh. Sad. I just hit the plate with that. That's my fault. I want, okay, let's see. I won a pretty cool keycap yesterday, DM'd it to me. I think everyone has had one at one point in time. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, <laughs> that's this. That's just me. Wait, did that show up? Wait, what? Why does that window capture the wrong window? Hmm. There we go. Shaboom. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I do like the little cat fox one or the helm the space fox I guess is what it is. Maybe that one's pretty cool to me. I like that one. Oh Yeah, the tofu. Yeah The art key serious. Oh Nice So uh, when you get those do you sell them also? 
or are you just is it just for your collection and are they are they different ones or are they um, the same one something real quick one second what happened did it die oh my battery died one second that's what it was I'll swap the battery out Let me swap it out. I never win, man. I never win. I never get a good stream where like everything works perfect. Okay. Let me swap this out. I saw one traded one and I am planning on keeping two and trading one. Oh, okay. Nice. That's smart. Okay, any. Oh gosh. Stop. Don't do that. What? Uh, okay, let's try this again. Oh sweet. Alright, let's take a look. Yes, that's the one I, I was talking about. Yes. What is that one called? That one looks noise. That's not the right page. Oh, I have two separate. This one. Boom. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's the one I was looking at. I actually like that one. It looks pretty cool. Space Fox, maybe? I don't remember the name. Just gonna be baiting. <laughs> stop. You gotta stop. Save me. You gotta save me. That's serious? Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Nice. Alright, so this is this is the one I made I'm trying to remember how I put it together I think these are all just stab screws this will make it easier for me yeah like I was just going to put this, the clip-ins but since I'm soldering it uh, I don't feel comfortable putting in clip-ins because those things tend to pop out if, um, if I'm swapping keycaps and that's going to be annoying trying to put that thing back in correctly so I decided to steal this guy because these are going to be screwing. I just got to order some GMK um, stabs. They have the Zoo Gear ones too on Amazon that I purchased recently again, but I guess I ran out. Separating it. I 
should buy in. I actually like this board. Uh, this was actually a fun board to make. But honestly, like, because of the USB mini, uh, it's kind of unusable to me now. Because it's just kind of like, it doesn't fit a lot of my cases. And this also, the blue pill, is just a little too large. So it sticks out. DM me the cap that I'm searching for at the moment. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. What is now? What is that one called? I don't remember the name of that one either. Let's see. Boom, boom. There we go. What is this guy called? He's pretty much. I mean, he's an owl, obviously, but I don't know what he is. Kipora, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, that's another one I've been seeing people too. So, do you have any Kiporas yet, or is that <clears throat> is that your only one? Or is, is that the only color you're looking for right now? Let me see what size this is. Okay, this is a 7U. So I gotta get a 7U real quick. Hmm. Okay. A seven U wire. There's a couple keyboards I'm searching for. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's one of the ones I like too. Man, see, but the thing is, like, when I tried to get that one. It was impossible to find, so I was just like, whatever, I give up. So am I just not looking hard enough? Or should, is there like something I need to do better? Uh, we are changing the song. There we go. I think I changed that last time too. All right. Seven U, seven U gang. I'm just trying to line up everything. Okay. Wait, this is upside down, I think. Please be upside down. All right, one here, one here, one here. I think that's it. Backspace. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like, if, if I found one for a decent deal, I'd probably go for it. Let me screw these guys up. This one. Jeez. Are the Kipora and the Sirius made by the same people? a good color. I like that color. Oh gosh. Yeah, the way that I saw them make this too, it's like a injection into the mold layer by layer to make the, to get the colors they want. I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, 
I know there was issue too with some people trying to copy other people's artisans. Uh, I think drop is even like part of that whole thing too. Like where they're producing them but not actually communicating to the original artist. If I'm not mistaken. And then like I saw the the drop ones, what is it? Um, the Infinity War ones, I wasn't a fan of those either. Some of them just look kind of low quality, uh, just so they can get fast production. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's cool that it's unique to the artist. I like that. Yeah. That's the same thing with like keycaps, man. I, uh, to be honest, like I made a video about these, uh, <laughs> these keycaps here. Was it the, uh, HK gaming? Um, and they're pretty bad about copying keycaps, unfortunately. So like, like right now at the moment, I don't really have any other GMK because I'm waiting for all my group buys. So I understand like why people go to these keycaps, but at the same time, it's like, it's pretty deceitful how they steal colorways. And then just sell it as uh, like a GMK copy. Yeah. Even me, like, uh, unfortunately, it's like, like I want to be able to provide people with a, a good cheap alternative. But at the same time, I don't want it to take advantage of somebody else to make it cheap, you know, like to steal somebody else's hard work. It's pretty messed up. So that's like something I'm like. I'm like in uh, between a rock and a hard place on right now. It's like uh, right now, like unfortunately, like things, if you want something in that price range, your options are very limited. Oh yeah, yeah, seriously. So is it HK Gaming that you're talking to or is it, uh, is it a different distributor? Yeah, I mean they they they're overseas too. They don't have to worry about it. The yeah, I actually got a the MZ60 board from them. Like as a company, a company like you know they they produce mass produce decent products, but at the same time it's like when you're copying somebody else's colorways, it's pretty messed up. But like, how do you combat it? Yeah, how do you combat it though? Like, can you copyright colorways? Can you, like, what can you do against it? It's like the, that's the, the hard, the hard issue. It's not, it's not much we can do other than just, you know, not support their product, the, not buy their products, basically. Yeah. If it comes to that, I mean, pff, that'd be awesome. But another thing too I've seen is like, you know, even like non HK gaming people have been copying people, which is kind of sad. Ooh, this is gonna sound and feel so good. All right, I'm gonna have to get my keycaps to test these out. What is this? Yeah, I've even had like discussions with people too. Like, I don't know, like, um, does it really take away from the uh, the designers if people are just gonna buy cheaper ones? You know what I mean? Like, if somebody was really wanting to buy a higher quality GM key keycap, they would go for it and then. The designer should still get a cut, but most people that are buying these generic knockoffs probably wouldn't buy GMK anyways. So I don't know. I don't. I don't like it though. I don't like uh, blatantly copying somebody's work, like uh, the GMK laser one uh, that I saw on Amazon. That was pretty scummy, because it's literally like a GMK laser copy, uh, but in PBT. That's pretty. That's pretty messed up. 
I'd be I'd be furious if I was Mito. I love my GMK laser though. I just don't have a board. I mean, I guess I could put it with this board, um, but I don't know if it'll look as good. All right, let's see. Yeah, another thing too, like as a content creator, I understand like, um, so there's like, there's like a, a fine difference between like affiliate link type stuff and like actual reviews and things like that. So a lot of times we'll get mass produced keyboards, uh, which are on like Amazon and we get affiliated with those people and we can receive funds from that. But at the same time, it's like, are we willing to sell out to support that stuff? So it's tough, man. It's very tough on both sides. Oh gosh, no. What is this? Ugh. Right, let me get that out. That one froze, it got stuck. I think the film is like in there wrong. Or it's not closed right. Let me see. What? I'm just take that one out. Not the batch. These are gonna sound pretty good though, actually, on the brass. I'm surprised how it, um, how nice these sound. Here's a quick, quick test. I like it. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I have this foam that I pulled from the tofu also, that I can probably toss in here to see how it sounds. That'd be kind of cool. I may have double filmed these, one of these. Yeah, I think it, uh, for JWKs though, man, you really gotta you really gotta film them. It sucks, but I think that it sounds way better filmed. I have my KBD eight X that I did uh, with the alpacas. They sounded great when I first did it, but then I think over time they started getting space in between the top and bottom case, uh, a top and bottom of the of the housing. So. It sort of sound like garbage. So I'm not to redo that one. I'm actually going to go with uh, a polycarbonate. Uh, not polycarbonate. Um, FR4 plate. I want to do that one again. I'm going to do these. Uh, NK yellows on there too. I need to chill with the NK yellows though. I feel like this is all I've been using lately. Well, what what switches did you use on your um, Hive 60? I forget. I don't know if I if you mentioned it yet, or if I just neglected to see it. Alpaca V2s, nice. Okay, so you did similar. Did you film your alpacas, or did you um, uh, did you just do lubed or unlubed? Because alpacas, I guess, come lubed, pre lubed. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So you already know what this is going to sound like. Uh, was your plate polycarbonate or brass? Carbon fiber? Nah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you did the group buy. I forgot about that. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's another thing too. Like you seem very smart to be able to run group buys and stuff like that. I would not have been able to do that at your age. That's another thing. Like I would not be confident myself to be able to do stuff like that. Oh, that's right. It was, it was crimson. Yeah. But I think it was, it was you that sent me the, uh, the form for it. 
I actually decided not to go on it because I, th I literally thought that I did PC, but I didn't. So that's why I want this instead. I think I did jump in on the FR4 uh, group by that they're doing right now. The I'll have to look back and make sure though. Okay, let's see. And then some of these all feel, yeah, I feel pushed in right. Okay. This looks good. This is like bent. Okay. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna line. Let me get my seven U space bar. summer job I took is essentially doing that so I have a ton of practice oh, okay nice that's cool man that's good uh. I think I had one summer job and it was working at Sonic Drive-In mm. okay let me line this up correctly all right so switch goes here I've, I've, I usually like try to just do a spot high, but I mess it up so many times. Just constantly packaging stuff. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's cool. All right, so control. I can't remember. Let's see where the switches go. Let's say it's here. That's too far apart. Um, let me see how the, let's see how the 160 looks. Hmm. Is it four? It's three. Why can't I find this? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I see it now. Why is it this? This one shows four, but I have three. So he went with a six U, but I don't have a six U. Oh wait, no, I do have a six U, but the PCB doesn't have a six U. Wait, it does. Oh well. I think seven U is. I think seven U honestly is better though. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to find the keycaps that match. I don't think it's Sengen. It can't be Sengen, is it? 60, you like 60, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I like 70, I like I got 70 on this one because it looks more even, but the, the shift is like uneven. Yeah. Well, this, yeah, this is 60%, so I'm trying to stick with that. 6.25 and 75 and 65, yeah. Okay, let's get this. I'm just gonna make sure I match this correctly. So is it going to be Tengen? I guess it is. Which is fine. I actually prefer that. Alright. I just want to make sure I, when I put in the case it's going to line up. Let me make sure everything lines up. Alright. Oh wow. I am missing one or two switches. So I'm going to have to do these two last switches too. Okay. Let me line these guys up first. Um, that's not the right control. 
control. Windows. Am I missing alt? Okay. That's cool. Alright, so we need two. Let me do two real quick. Knock these guys out. I drop one spring. Yeah. How can you use arrow keys or on FN row without it? Uh, I actually don't use arrow keys <laughs> uh, on the on these boards. I just don't use it. it sucks. Nah, I don't like split right shift. Big right shift, gang. Actually, no, I have to check. I have to check this. Let's see. I don't know. I just I just like the look better. Where am I at? This color isn't matching as as good as I'd like though. That doesn't match. Oh yeah. Well, I don't even really use the the. I'm sorry, I don't really use the uh, right shift very often, so that's fine for me. Let me set this in place too, just to make sure it lines up on the board. Shaboom! That eh, looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Sorry, putting you back. I don't want to scuff this. I really like this color. I don't want to scratch it. I'm so glad I didn't drink coffee too. I work my best on an HHKV layout in 75. TKL works too. 65 is no go. I'm inefficient. <laughs> Actually, most of my boards are 65. Um, but I think TKL is my best is my best board. 100. percent I just I, I just feel like I do better on TKL. Plus, it has like all the keys I need, right? Like, uh, I don't really need it often, like. But like the F keys, the, the F rows, not F rows, but um, arrows, things like that. Mm hmm. I agree. Yeah, I like the compactness of a 60. Yep, definitely beneficial. Yeah, I got, uh, I figured there'd be more people watching uh, from the. The um the Hive sixty Discord. I feel bad that you know they've had to wait. So that's why I wanted to stream this mainly was for those guys. So I'm hoping that you know if they're still waiting, they get a chance to watch this, and hopefully this will help them you know, get by until they get the ports. But I know that some of them are going out this week too. When when did you get your board, uh, Beans? I guess I'll mean you were the lucky ones. You got yours today? No way. What the heck? Oh, okay. That's probably why I didn't see it. Because I just got home. Uh, and then I didn't even check all my discords before I hopped on the stream. So that's probably why I haven't seen your videos yet. That makes sense. Cause I've been like watching everybody's. Okay. Yeah, you know, I have a, a really, really good appreciation for people that like, just enjoy these boards too. Even if it's not the best sounding, but just like the fact that you have a nice, 
a custom keyboard that's yours you know one in a thousand most likely you know you got the most recent shipment oh, okay so uh i guess everybody's is pretty much almost there then so everybody else is probably just building theirs right now too <laughs> that's why they're not on my stream or like talking to me which is fine that's just it's just funny i just i i really did i feel bad that like i got mine and nobody else did you know Okay, okay. That makes sense then. Okay. Didn't I have the control? I did have the control. Alright. There we go. That looks good. I think this is... Caps Lock? All right, time to solder. Serial 74, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good then. Uh, make sure these guys are locked in. Okay. Solder time. I'm gonna pull my soldering gun real quick. Okay. I think it's should be ready now.
I gotta turn on my fan real quick. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that I wasn't uh, using my fan, so I'll just like, get it all in my face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just breathing in toxic fumes. No big deal. So funny. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make sure I teach good habits too. You know. Yeah, I was like, why does this keep burning my eyes? That's why. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to figure out what this smells like. Like, not quite burnt plastic. Not like burnt toast, but like, almost like a sugary caramel burning smell. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Let me see. Um, yep, I think I got it all. All right, now it's time to put this up. Probably should have tested this beforehand. 
that's my own fault. But this is mounted in here. I tested it the other day. Yeah, I tested it the other day while I had it on here, but let me test it again just to be sure. Good grief. Why is it so difficult? Okay. Oh, uh, it does hit the bottom. I can feel it. It's the smell that always reminds me. Yeah. Okay. So, there is flex. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to swap out the keyboard USB real quick. Move this guy out of the way. And then we're going to test this USB. And open via. Key tester. was it? Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right, pretty good. Yeah, I know. I probably should have tested that beforehand. Uh, I should have tested that way before. But you know, I tested it the, the other day, so I figured I'm good. But just in case, you know, just wanted to make sure. Okay, let's unplug it. If I can stop dropping stuff, this will be amazing. <laughs> All that like work though, it's so nice when like is that part of it works. Hopefully nothing else, like, nothing happens, but you never know. Uh, okay. I'm just lightly tightening these and then I'll go back around and finish tighten all around just so it's like even. Uh, just so I can get that even gasket mounting. And I'm not even like extreme tightening it. I'm just tightening it to where it feels tough on my fingers. Like it's not like you're gonna be walking around with this keyboard. You don't have to tighten it too much. 
Ooh. All right. Space bar first. Since the space bar is always going to be like that, though, a little bit of hollowness. Ooh, nice. Yeah, some good flex to it. Yeah, this was a good idea. Sure. Sure. Kind of want just different color uh, buttons. Let's see though. Man, I feel like the nine, the uh, nine oh nine would look better on here. It's okay. Z X C B B. Ah. Q W E R. F N two. Seven. That does seem a little hollow right there, though. You hear it? I could probably add a little bit of foam underneath, um, but I'll do that later. It's not a big deal. The top sounds pretty good. Yeah. And then I think that's really because uh, the sides have don't, don't have support, which is good. You don't want the support on the sides, you know. But let's see how it sounds with the rest of the keys. Oh, my back. All right. Uh, I like I like this already though. It sounds better than my other board. My um. Sounds better than my raw board. So that's good. Also, these are freshly lubed. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of time to break these into. Why do I have two number threes? Oh, because this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. The number three? Um, let me see. It looks all right, I guess. I'm not crazy about it though. I prefer, I honestly like, out of all the boards, I think the number two is my favorite out of all the Keycolt boards, just because of the unique design. Like the way that it has like three pieces, it's very unique and like, it's got like no seams and it has like no screws showing. That's like some of my favorite things about it. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice board. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with a keycord board regardless. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just keep doing the raffles, man. Just get lucky like I did. You know, I, I can't believe I won. I was like, what? <laughs> did I really just get that email? <laughs> like, I, I, there was like literally like hundreds of other people that came before me to get it you know what i mean like even like um like lightning actually i got mine before lightning got his um just by by winning the raffle beforehand Ooh, that sounds good Ooh, the more keys i put on it the better it sounds i like it yeah this is definitely sounding way better than that one than the raw. What? 
What happened? No! Did you go dead? Was it this one? Wait. Why are you dead? What happened to you? Yeah, I think a little bit of uh, foam would probably help that. But honestly, it's not horrible uh, compared to what it was before. I think it's way better than this board. ASDF. As many times as I've done this, I always forget the keys. <laughs> what the keys are. All right. Sometimes I'll remember, but not all of them. Oh, how is that one dead now? All right, let me get a battery. I gotta like figure out where all my batteries are. The vertigo? I'll have to check that out. Man, was it did we stream that long already? Just have two batteries in one stream? Usually it's only one stream. I mean one battery when I do a stream. But today killed two batteries. That's just how epic it's turning out. All right, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Why? Ooh. Dang, this might sound better than my uh, brutal. All right, let me take a look when I, uh, I'm going to finish this one real quick. And I, that way I can use my keyboard again. All right, give me a second. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Oh, I have double threes because I think I lost one of my keycaps. Or they sent me the wrong one. That's why I have double threes. Okay. Dang. Okay. I'm just gonna clean up my workspace real quick. Yes, that is very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, this is similar to how the key cult number two is. So you can see this is actually probably inspired by it. Uh, that looks different. The way that it mounts is different. But not bad. Not bad at all. Screwless bottom. So I'm curious to see how that mounts. That's not bad though. But the thing is like, it's not gasket mounted, right? I can't tell. The screwless bottom on the Vertigo is arguably the most exciting part of the board. The screw itself split resting between the two different halves of the case, which not only allows even weight distribution, but makes this whole system possibly, but not interfering with the switches. Yeah. 
Yeah, you could tell where that, that was inspired from. That's awesome. I think that's going to be a really good board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That makes sense though, with the color, with the colorways, yeah. All right, let's do let's do a quick sound test. I'm gonna mute the music. And I'm gonna, let's try switching over to key test. All right. Moving the microphone over. There's like my fan in the background. Hold on one second. Let me turn that off. So the, uh, what's that microphone? Oh, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah, so the microphone, this one right here, the road that I'm using, um, I don't know. Let's see how it sounds. Try one more time. Tell you what, let's. Uh, I'm gonna move the microphone a little bit closer and more above. Let's try that out. Sorry if that blew your minds or blew your ears off. Probably did. Sorry. That's, that's my consistency lately. Okay. Not bad. Do you want to hear the key cult, uh, keyboard also? Let me go get that. I know you were asking about it earlier. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so this is my baby. Oh, sorry. Gosh, the desktop audio. Is that muted? This is the key cult. <laughs> All right, we'll do a quick comparison. All right, let's... So, like I said, it's not very much a, uh, a good comparison just because... Oh, gosh. Um, it's a very different board, right? It's a three piece board. It's like, it is gasket mounted in a way, I guess, but it's not the same in the build quality of it. All right. So let's try it out real quick. Man, this, I can hear like a lot of noise. Can you hear, can you hear the keyboard? Hear that? Yep. Okay. So this one, man, it's my, I think it's my window open that I can hear the cars. So this one, turn this off. 
This one is actually um, aluminum plate. It's got Cherry MX blacks. Uh, I think these are retool blacks. Um, and then GMK uh, Wob. But, I mean, like I said, it's a very different sounding keyboard because it is, like, different plate material, different switches, and um, just the way that it's constructed is different. But it does have the leaf spring similar to, like, what I have, right? Um, sorry. Um, I mean, it's got that flex in it, so you can see, like, it, like, flexes when you push on it. Similar. Yeah, well, like, um, this is just my preference, right? So, like, the I, I really like the feel, the sound and feel of the Cherry MX Blacks. But also, like, um, these aren't broken in either. Like, if I broke them in or if I got, like, vintage uh, Cherry Pick Blacks, it probably would have sounded better, but... Yeah. But, yeah, honestly, like, these JWKs, man, they sound really good. Yeah, they're... they're yeah, I, I don't mind the scratch, though. That's the thing, like... I'm a, I'm a I'm a heathen because uh, I actually like the scratch sometimes like like it gives me feedback so I feel it um, but it also has like an old school um, keyboard feel to me so I like it too it's not like overbearing where it's like too much but yeah uh, I do want to go to like a different board like a hot swap board and try it out <laughs> sorry no no trades no trades for me all right let me hear, let me do the key quote one more time I just want to hear it in my own ears. I actually, um, I really like this board. It sounds really good. This actually sounds better than my Brutal, to be honest. And the Brutal's like one of my favorites. I don't like the space. The space bar isn't my, fa my uh, favorite though. I'm gonna take a little slower. Good morning. Sorry, I'm up so late. Got a chance as my wiper. Yeah, like that space bar is. I mean, it's not horrible. I feel like if it was no, to be honest though, beans like if I went with that six, probably would have sounded better. It's too big. It's too big, too hollow. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do a uh, comparison between the two. All right. No more Pokemon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he went to bed. He's, he'll be fine. Um, I told him that I was going to do this today. So. We had plenty of time earlier. We... We went Pokemon shopping earlier. Honestly, like this one doesn't sound as hollow. I think I did have I might have foam in this one, I can't remember. So this one doesn't sound hollow. This one does have a little bit of hollowness. Let me try throwing in that tofu foam in there real quick. Let's see how it sounds with that. If I have space though, oh no, what I can't because I have the I have the USB dongle, so I can't do that. But not, not horrible. Just these two, these sides are a little hollow. <clears throat> that space bar is meh. I could probably lube that um, those stabs a little bit more. It might be silent down a little bit. Maybe tighten these sides a little bit more. Yeah. Eh, that's, that's not bad. I like it though. Um, it's definitely. <laughs> it's not a key cold, but let's see.
Yeah, I think it. I think it looks amazing though, dude. Like that color looks so good. Look at that. Yeah, it's a stunner, dude. The the just the color. I think they did a great job with matching that color. Like the color of this board actually looks better than the render. To be honest with you, I already got fingerprint oil on it though, but yeah. No, I, I mean, I like this sound, though. It turned out really good. I think Film JWKs did really well in this. Not too bad. Yeah. Why, well, Beans? I appreciate you dropping in, man. Thanks so much for watching. Um, <laughs> hopefully it was enjoyable. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll do another stream like this in the future. It was kind of long, but I want to do this uh, uh, mainly for those who, that haven't got their keyboard yet from the Hive group buy. I think it's a great keyboard, even though it is kind of hollow at some points. I think it's a good budget option. Okay, uh, I'm going to go literally buy one right now. <laughs> uh, let me let me look at some others first. I'll let you know when I get it, though. If you're on the Discord, I'll, I'll let you know on the Hives, too. I get you on my DMs, and uh, I'll send you a message when I get mine. All right, buddy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.